This episode of the She's Crafty podcast was recorded live at Big Hops in San Antonio, Texas. Craft beer is what they do. Served up by their friendly and knowledgeable tap masters, their rotating tap wall has a beer for everyone. They serve samples before buying, so you always make a great choice. You can fill a growler for beer to go or hang out with in-house pours. They also have wine by the glass or bottle and craft root beer for the kids. Make sure to check out Big hops when you're in San Antonio at one of their three locations. The She's Crafty Podcast is brought to you by Busted Sandal Brewing Company. You can now find their 210 Ale and Slippery Rock IPA in cans throughout San Antonio, New Braunfels, and Austin. Head over to BustedSandalBrewing.com slash can locator to find a location today. Shut up and sit down. You know, that's actually a brilliant fake merch. Fake until you make it. Yes. That is a good merch page. Well, welcome to episode 22. Woo, we made it all the way to 22. I know, last week we didn't even, um, we didn't celebrate our 21st I know, birthday. I think legal to drink now. Total that's losers, exciting. I know. That's probably yeah. like my 21st birthday. I didn't do much celebrating. Really? Ooh, yeah. I went on one of those like bar tours and I like Ooh. got, because I guess on your 21st birthday you can get like a free shot or whatever at yeah. the bar. So that's what I did. And then I threw up and passed out. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. It does sound like fun. Uh, yeah. It's pretty hot. Is I, it? I would yeah. expect nothing Yeah, there's nothing, nothing hotter than just like all over everything. Nope, nothing at all. That's, that's yeah. a siren mating call to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a siren mating. Just a girl sobbing like, I want my daddy. That's true. Yeah. I don't know how I'm getting home. I, I can help oh. you. Yeah. I you bet know you can what? that from over a mile away. Funny uh, thing, I have a car. You want to get in it? I've got hit on so many times when I was mid-puke. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's sure. That's the best yeah. time because you can't yeah. say no. Because you, you just hold the hair. You're the most yeah. vulnerable then. Yeah. That's why. Here, smell this rag. Yeah. And then. Yep, oh. exactly. And then done. Done. Yeah. done. Yeah. And then he knows what you what you like to eat already. Yeah. I had a dude start no braiding guessing. my hair. No, oh, that no was lie. the creepiest thing <laughs> I've ever heard <laughs> ever. Was he, was he a gay dude? I don't remember. Because he'd have, if he's not, then well, that's he was else. braiding your hair because he was getting you primed for something. Maybe so. He's like, I enjoy braided women. Ooh. Mm. Maybe he was into the medieval chicks. I don't know. Oh my god, that Whoa. makes me so uncomfortable. Well, we are here today with Paul Vega from No Label Brewing. We are, and comedian Ooh. Jay Lafar. Hello, 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 people. And Catherine brought us all candy. I did. Yay. My favorite. What is it? What is it called? I don't re- Actually, it probably says it on the back. I never remember. It's a d- it's, Dolce de Nuez. There it is. It's basically Nuez. just like sugar, butter, and pecans. Oh, okay. Sugar yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's candy, pal. Oh, yeah. You don't, need, you don't need sugar? No, I eat sugar. Oh, okay. I eat I, I sugar. Try and a piece you eat sugar. And, well, you drink a lot of beer. So. I do. There's, there's plenty of sugar in some of them. Yeah. Did there y'all hear go. about Splenda? Yeah, it causes uh, what, diarrhea. What happened? Uh, well, not just <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> cancerous diarrhea. diarrhea. Yes. Wait, what? That's the worst yeah. thing. You know yeah. what? I mm-hmm. feel completely validated because I never use artificial sweeteners yeah. because I just like the taste of regular sugar. Well, everybody but discovers later. Everybody's like, oh. been telling me for so long, you're going to get diabetes, Everything Catherine. Everything created in a factory for stuff like that is bad. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. take a genius. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You know, my grandmother, uh, sweet and low. Yeah, yes. she wouldn't use sweet and low. She would steal it from restaurants, so and she stockpile it. Well, then I'd thrifty. be like, well, "Why do you steal that?" She'd ask for guests. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yeah. Well, it causes cancer. She's like, "I give a shit." She was like a mean old brat. <laughs> that's funny though, because that's before people like would even ask for the option. Now people come over and they're like, "But do you have do you have sweet and low or Splenda?" I'm like, "This is fucking do you have restaurant." Stevia. Uh, yeah, this you is my have agave nectar. This is my house. What are you talking do about? You have agave. You that's should have some, agave nectar. Somebody at camp asked for always. something crazy. Oh, we were making coffee and they were like, "Do you have any goat's milk?" And I'm like, "Nope, nope." Forgot to put do that on the goat's list. Milk? Yeah, goat's milk. For their coffee, where, yeah. Where that would you get gross. goat's milk other than I think like, from a, a goat. goat? Yeah. So from, really, last I heard, you have yeah. to own a goat. <laughs> we should just bring a, a goat to camp, and the girls can milk it into their coffee cup. That sounds great. That's I feel like kind of foul. Goat's I milk that. is so mm-hmm. like it's kind of tangy and sour, though. Really? Right? No I don't cheese. know. Like goat I, cheese. I goat yeah, cheese is really like has like a strong taste to it. 
Well, I heard... It's an um, interesting thing to put in your coffee. What's the dude's name off of Modern Family that plays Cam? Oh. oh I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, dear Lord, I can't... Eric... Eric something. Dang it. I don't watch All right. Modern Family. Well, well, he was on Adam Carolla, and he was talking about... He, wait, he was on Adam Carolla? Yeah, directly on him. Yeah, okay. it was hot. Um, and he, he told him, he said, I can't eat goat cheese. I used to be on a farm. I know how much semen is in goat cheese. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, that explains why it's so tangy. Yeah. Actually. That's true. You can hear all the um, That's, oh, can you? papers rustling oh, for the candy. Mm. Yeah, so we're going to make perfect. everybody super Fair. hungry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect how for is it? audio. Or are Good. they getting hungry mm-hmm. from the goat semen? This is delicious. Yeah, how, it's right? how have you never had this before? You've never had that I've before? I've never had this before. Your last I see it all the time. And I know. You've never had it before? It's, it's so good, right? I see it it's all the time. It's sort of like a pecan pie without the crust. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm just skeptical to buy anything off the counter of, of a Mexican restaurant unless it's the cake. I will like the, always what, get what the, the, cake? The, the Like the little pink cake with the icing? The little pink yeah. cake with the icing. That mm-hmm. I, I'll, I'll buy that. I'm not going to buy these little candies. Really? But I might now because it's delicious. It's good, right? Yeah, delish. They remind me of the pecan, pecan pie bars. Yes. You know when you put like the gooey yes. set? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Gooey, not goat semen. Again, past the goat semen. But yeah. yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I can't really get past the goat semen. I bet there's yeah. a bunch. Of, yeah. I, I bet you there are a bunch of things that we eat or drink that have semen, that in, have semen in them and we don't even know. <laughs> Well, I know that there are a bunch of things that I consume that have semen. I don't know about the rest of the population. Like semen? Like, like semen, semen itself. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Right. How many, calories, a little how many calories do you guys think are, is in semen? I don't know, but Colby's friend in college convinced his girlfriend that it was negative calories. Well, then, well, that you would burn okay. calories by drinking She's it? She's probably uh-huh. not very smart. No, she deserved it. Yeah. 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 The friend's pretty smart. Because now we can Google things. Mm-hmm. Now we have access to the internet, so. She was just, like, looking in Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> she was just, like... <laughs> she, she was, was looking like, in the goat cheese she reference was, book. Yeah. She was protein shaking it every day with that. Or, like, oh. <laughs> or she just believed him because she was like, let's see, P-Q-R... Damn it, I'm missing S. I'll there just trust go. him. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we would just, like, miss parts of the encyclopedia at home and just be like, well, shit. All right. Whatever. No. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, us too. The huge one. Yeah. 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 Those are awesome. Um, wah, wah. I was lucky. I had the whole encyclopedia. Did you? Yeah. We had the kids ones too. Oh, rich kids. I never used them. Oh. We you. got ours from the side of the road. Do they garbage pick up day where everyone leaves their shit out that no one wants anymore? And then you go when you're yes. poor and you pick it up oh, yeah. and you yes. get home? Yeah. Yeah. We used to look forward to that week. Yeah. Now those are called, that's thrift stores now. Really? Wow. Mm. Yeah. But I still, we had thrift stores back then. But they weren't as nice really as they are now. No, I think. no, no. Like they weren't organized. No, they didn't smell like an they old didn't man's smell coffin like, like they do now. Yeah. You can get good <laughs> stuff from like lazy people like me because I don't like selling stuff anymore on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. I'm the same uh, way. Right? So I'd I just set it, it out on the curb. I send everything to Goodwill. Uh, everything. Yeah. To, to Goodwill? I, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go now and look for you all the cool stuff that you put. I mean, I don't know if it's cool, but she's autographed it. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. it's autographed. Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. says stay crafty. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's my, my we were just talking about how famous you are. Autograph underneath it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. Stay yeah, crafty, yeah. bitch. I am. <laughs> Speaking of us being famous, and yeah. we're not famous at mm-hmm. all, by the way, mm-hmm. but I was at the uh, the uh, Ranger Creek event on yes. Saturday, and there was a little group of people that knew who we were. What? Well, nice. this is what happened, is that I... I right? Oh, Look what? at your face. Like, what the fuck is happening right now? <gasps> I was standing there, and this guy was like, hey... Aren't you that girl that was shotgunning a Hans Pills <gasps> on Friday? And oh. I was like, uh, yes, that was, that was me, me, right? And then the other guy was with him. He's like, oh, you're that one girl from the beer podcast. And I was like, yes, I am. Ah. And then there was a guy, and I was like, this is snowballing out of control. That's cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And then Ranger Creek awesome? had to escort you out because you were and creating a ruckus. Yes. Yeah, they had to call security and I had to leave. Well, but. some guy that I don't know po- commented on our Instagram today and said, oh, I enjoyed this last episode. It was very episodic in I nature. And I was just like, that means that you've listened to our other episodes too and I don't and know your name. Holy then. shit. And somebody actually, now that we're good getting into this, uh-huh, somebody uh-huh. <laughs> messaged me on Instagram today and mm-hmm. said, I... I think your show is great. I love you guys. Blah, well, blah, blah. I was like from Frisco, Texas. And I was like, that's not my mom. Wow. That's I super love, weird. I love talking about us. I, I think we should, just, we should have a whole podcast just dedicated to us talking about how great we are. Yeah. I think so. Called She's Totally Conceited. She's a bitch. Yeah. She's just yeah. stuck no, up bitch. You know, there's absolutely <laughs> nothing wrong when reveling in a little bit of a success. A little bit. Just a little, a little bit. bit. Right? That's little right. Bit. Listen, the first time I got recognized doing stand-up comedy, I was sampling food at H-E-B over on Broadway Street because I was up. broke. I didn't have yeah. any money for lunch. 
So we'd go over there and sample food for lunch. Yeah, Central Market, you mean? Yeah, Central oh, Market. That's Gucci, the place the to Gucci go. Gucci B, right? That's, you, can, so, you can get your lunch there. And some guy comes over there. and nice. he's like, uh, hey, you're that comedian guy. And he'd see me at like the Midnight Madness show. It yeah, wasn't yeah. even like a real show. And I was like, yeah. And then he starts talking to me and I see they're giving it through the corner of my eye. They're giving away the samples that I was going for. <gasps> And so, He's do I talk to this you. guy, or do I go over and have lunch? So, I've just sat there, and I was like, and then I, oh, well, good, hey. And he's like, could I get a picture with her? I was like, yeah, sure. That was, I feel like that was a very, that was like an unspoken little Irish that came out of here. I, I, did anybody else hear good day? Oh, did you say no? good day? Did he, he, I, I missed I it. Know. I don't I, Can you do it again? It'll We're really close. To I'm just going to have to clip that out. It's going to be like, good day. And yeah. I'm, I, I'm <laughs> Irish and Mohawk Indian, so. Wow. Very, it just naturally comes out, I guess. Yeah, and I got a shamrock and a bottle of Jameson to prove it right nice. here. Nice. See? So. There we go. Nice. There we go. Because that's what makes, makes you Irish. Jameson. Yeah, the, the Jameson. alcoholism. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. I married into it, and I'm already an alcoholic, so. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's true. I mean, oh, no. Oh, yeah, never yeah, mind. Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's you are. fine. If it's you okay. were an alcoholic, that glass would be empty in That's front of you right true, now. Speaking actually. of that glass, thank you for the segue, Jay. Um, we have actually four different off-label brews here. I'm and completely tell excited. Us, Paul, what off-label is. Okay, so I really wanted to call a lot of attention to off-label because it seems that people don't know that that's an extension of no-label brewing. Uh, it's a series of beers that we do throughout the year. They're always smaller batches of beer. And we like to change up the first two every year. So I brought last year's, the 2015 series. Mm, nice. Um, and then I can tell you about what's coming next. Perfect. So, okay. so what's this first one that we're trying? What you have in front of you, um, we're actually not going to go in the order of where they were released. I wanted to go in order of how it's going to flow on the palate. Perfect. So you're drinking Suburban Funk, which is our Ooh. cherry sour. Mm. Is it uh, like what? Is it a lambic or is it a like? Mm. As far as a cherry I would sour? I would describe it as an imperial Berliner Weiss. Okay. So most Berliner, Berliner Weiss is going to be lower in ABV, three and a half, four percent. This one is pushing six point eight. It's interesting because it's not super duper sour, right? right? It's but just, it's more it's, fun. But it's it's, it's more funky to the funk. Yeah, that yeah. Is absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm. That is. And it's got no, it's like uh, a lot of times with cherry beers, it has that weird, soury, almost a corny type of, but it's just so good and smooth. Oh, wow. It really yeah, is it's a, good. It's a great beer. I always like to call this like an entry level sour because it's oh, not yeah, too it doesn't hit you in the overpowering. Face the sour. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. What I think is good about this is also, I think this is just a good entry level craft beer. Because yeah. I think that like a lot of people drink wine and champagne and they don't realize that drinking a beer like this is very it's in, very similar to yeah. very very close. Yeah. Especially I had a friend who she just kind of drinks Pinot Grigio. Okay. She said I don't like beer. Yeah. I was like oh this well, would be fun. Oh, you oh. don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So that was a fun thing. Like I would let her taste some different sours because I feel like if you like kind of those more tart wines, right? Then I don't even know if that's the right word for it. Yeah. But yeah. Like a sour beer is a nice thing to kind of move into. Move into, yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Absolutely. That That's kind of uh, what I like about sours as well. Um, I always tell people who say, I don't like beer. Of course, if you haven't met a beer that you'd like. Right. Um, and if you do want to get people in wine, you do do that. Give them sours. Um, New Belgium does the La Folie series, and that's a really good segue as well. Yeah. Do you think that's what dudes would say to you? Like if a gay guy was trying to hit on you? He's like, well, you just haven't met a cock that you just like. haven't met yeah. a penis that you yeah. that you like yet. Yeah. That's you know, it is. that would be a good pickup line, I think. Like you Especially would start for a guy in the beer industry. I'd be like, you know what? You probably start like the smaller end of things, right? And then work your way up. I would. I would, size. I would feel like if you were a guy getting into the the gays. The gayness, the gay yeah. world. Mm-hmm. Like, if somebody was going to stick it in your butt, mm-hmm. you would want to start small. Yeah, that's what yeah, I meant. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Like, how offensive but can we make this, what? though? Penny yes, and yeah. a pound in, <laughs> yeah. I guess. If you're going to do that, then wouldn't it just go, go, go for go right bigger, away go or go home? Yeah. Yes. That's true. If you go big first, then it opens you up to everything. so many opportunities. Yeah. To everything. Literally opens you up to everything. so many things. Definitely yeah. two kinds of people because yeah. I'm not going to go that big. No, no. Just like a gerbil, kind of like Richard Gere, maybe? Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or, a like small, a fat. or a small marsupial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. Smaller than a gerbil or yeah, bigger yeah, than a gerbil? Bigger, about this big, a possum. Oh, that's You're not seeing how wide he's putting his hands. We say big or small, we're talking length or we're talking width. 
<laughs> well, it's, 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 it's a relative. It's long. It's all relative, exactly. Yeah. God. So, like, you don't want anybody that's like hung like a tuna can, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's something. I'm sorry. There's just something. So let's get down to basics. Like, okay. there's something. It's so entertaining about talking about a, a straight guy being hit on by a gay guy. It's, like, I don't know what it is. It, it creeps mostly everyone out. I think that's why it's so fun to I mean, talk I'm not about. offended by it. I'm, I'm a little flattered. Exactly. My I husband am. gets very flattered. We go to Corneation, and it's like 90% gay guys there. And they, my, my husband's an attractive guy with like a beard mm-hmm. and 6'2". They're like, oh, oh. And he just walks He's away with like bear. the biggest smile on his face. Just makes like, you feel damn. great. Yeah. How do you feel when girls hit on you? Hit on me? Yeah. It doesn't happen often. Really? No. Really? I have that same problem. Mm-hmm. I get hit on by girls... Occasionally, pretty, pretty yeah. frequently. Not frequently, but occasionally. When it's happened, I love. I love it. I love it, but then also I always feel like it's such a hard. They're trying to give me such the heart, like a hard sell. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, yeah, but you. The but guys it's nice are knowing really the jerks, year. aren't they? Jerks, guys. They're such jerks, yeah. and you're like, yeah, oh, yeah and, there's, and, like, and like girls don't girls don't cheat on each other, you know. Guys, yes, which is bullshit, do. by the way. Yeah. Every girl that do. I know is a lesbian yeah. has more drama. And then in I'm life. like, it's yeah. not that like it's not that I'm disgusted by the idea of being with a girl or that I have a problem with it. Yeah. I just don't want to be with somebody that also has a menstrual cycle. Like that's fucking disgusting to me. True that. No, you can sync up and both be assholes to each other. Yeah. yeah. The same no, time. thank you. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. I'm not. I'm okay. I'm sorry, I don't know if I should use asshole. I don't. You can say whatever you want. You can say whatever. Not regulated by anybody. No. Okay. You can say whatever you want okay. to. Yeah. yeah. They're right. When you, on I, if you download us on iTunes, there's a little tiny little E next to our uh, oh, for explicit. Okay. Oh, that's what the E's for? The E I is for, for like, I thought it was ex- 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 You really want to listen to this podcast. And explicit. We yeah. put a little ecstasy into every yeah, podcast. Yeah, into every podcast. We're going to get you high. Oh, man. Yeah. That would be smart. That yeah. would be smart. If we could make it so addictive that people couldn't stop listening to it. Is there a lesbian brewery? A lesbian-owned brewery in the United States? I have no idea. Not that I know of. I there know. is a company called BrewDog that is trying to make a beer that's going to appeal toward that community, which actually is a good that's segue a really into no label. Thing for yeah. me. Yeah. Because yes. they did have. I forget what beer company came out. They came out with a gay beer a while back, <laughs> and which I know what it is. But they marketed it to specifically to to gay clientele. I feel like weird I, to me though. And what's that? It just seems odd to me. It's well, it, of course. Like, what specifically beer. about it's, beer could be geared well, towards gay people? I don't. Understand. I can. I can well, tell you. Okay. okay. Which is which is what what Brewdog tried to do. Beer. Um, actually, so I don't know the exact specifics, but it was something about the types of hop that they used would change gender as it matured, and so the hop would be <gasps> oh, say but born it had a male. Made, it had nothing to do with the flavor of the beer. It was right. just like, like the, the actual ale. process. Right. Yeah. Right. And so they made this beer, and they called it No Label. What? But we own the trademark on No Label so in the United States. Oh. No, they can because oh. they're in Soho in London. But oh, I see. Uh, we'll see what happens if they try to come here. Interesting. Um, I mean, we're not a we're we're not like a big corporation that's going to be against them. Right. That's but we thing. will have to sit down well, and have a discussion. Have to, you'd have yeah. to talk about it, yeah, because you can't let people just do that, or else you know, people are so litigant anyways. Then mm-hmm. you know, then they might be like, "Well, we came up with the idea in London 25 years ago." Right, you know? right, right. So it's like you can never tell. That's you, what the stinks about trademarks. Is like it does. It, it's not like there's an automatic fine or something, and and you have to actually go after them. Right. Well, yeah. we have such good fans out there that somebody actually tipped us off to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we do something totally different with no label. The way that we do no label is basically we're not labeling the drinkers. We're not trying to go after a specific community. We want to go after everybody. Yeah. Nobody yeah. has a label. We're not calling you beer stomps or we're not calling you right. you know beer rookies mm-hmm. right we just think that you're gonna like our beer just, yeah that's really cool but but let me ask you this though don't your client the people that are gonna buy from you aren't they mostly going to be kind of beer snobby people people who are a little more in the know people who have a better a more uh, discerning palate for beer because the people who drink like cans of Lone Star for example best example they don't give a shit what they drink because they're just like I just want a beer that's two dollars in a can right which which is true which, it is true but which your which your beer is a more high end model but and it's a better a, product one, by the way right. you're, you're looking quality. at our at our off label series so the beers that we do in our core lineup we we try to hit what we what we like to conservatively call actually uh, maybe not conservatively maybe we're we're overdoing it but we say ninety percent of the market mm-hmm. we have a blonde an amber IPA a pale ale and our best-selling beer, El Jefe, our Hefeweizen. 
So we try to that's appeal. Real, that's the best selling now? That's our best selling beer. The best selling for you guys? Yes. That is our flagship beer. That's the one that we sell the most of and people love it. We got high ratings from Draft Magazine. They gave us 91 out of 100. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. nice. Beautiful. Awesome. It's good, too. I can understand, too, being in Texas, that Hefeweizen's, like, nice, smooth. Mm-hmm. You can Absolutely. drink that through the summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, the, again, though, people with Hefeweizen, if you're not experienced in beer, then the, it's a little daunting because you're like, oh, it's a wheat beer, especially if it's a cloudier one mm-hmm. where some of the yeast may be still in. Is like, we used to uh, go to play, uh, I forget what the, the beer is, it's, uh, but it's Hefeweizen. You kind of tilt the bottle to get the yeast back into right. suspension. Um a lot of people wouldn't do that because they didn't want to, you know, they're like, oh, yeast, that's got to be discussed. But it, they didn't understand that how, how the process works. Which is okay. The good thing about, about the El Jefe is I've seen it poured both ways, and it doesn't really change the flavor that much. So you can pour it without getting the yeast back into the beer, and it, it'll pour more clear, almost so looks filtered. filtered. Of ice. It is not filtered. Oh, okay. But Beautiful. when you pour it without rolling the bottle, so If you so decant to speak, it well, then you don't have to worry about the yeast and, on the and bottom. And you pour and... And it's still delicious. Yeah. We had uh, we on one of our branch line episodes. I said something that really stuck with me because we were talking about like good tasting beer, and they said right. we don't even. Sometimes we don't even get into that that uh, discussion with somebody because if somebody loves their Lone Star, they love their Bud Light, they they're gonna love it, and they're always going to love it. There's People gonna be a piece loyal. of them, but. Yeah. There's something also that's new that, that surpasses everything, and that's about su- supporting local. And so people right. want to invest back in their own communities. Mm. And so that's why a lot of people, I think, are starting to try their right. local beers because they said, like, oh, they're kind of discovering the, about the difference. So well, at the turn of the at the turn of the 19th century and up until probably the 1950s, almost every city had its own brewery. They, everyone had, and they all, that's what everyone drank in that city. Right. Because beer, of course, didn't travel well. Right. C- Coors, uh, that's what the whole movie uh, Smokey and the Bandit was based on. The Coors didn't travel well, and that's why you didn't get it on the East Coast, because it didn't go past the Mississippi. Yeah. And so, uh, now, you know, now Coors is, con- they, they pretty much contract brew everything out. Yeah. Which is sad, but it's also, I get it. Yeah. They're doing their thing, just like Walmart's doing their thing, but I hate going to Walmart. Right. So. Uh, this, I know. Dear no, Lord. This is, yeah, this one right here is. But I'll still go there if I need, if like, I a need $35 to. folding table in five yeah, minutes. Right. I know. And Walmart, <laughs> by too. the way, largest purchaser of organic uh, vegetables really? and uh, products in the community. Yeah. I actually read an article about that, because, and the reason that they did Thank it is you. because their customers were asking for organic. They really? go where the, yeah. the money is. And if, if yeah. people demand, like, local stuff they yeah, will stock it Walmart it. what Walmart does is they don't buy a truckload they buy a farm load of produce and that just by buying a farm load of that produce they take out like a hundred thousand pounds of pollutants from the air and the, the land yeah. you know it's it's insane and the same with like local brewing local breweries most of them a lot of them will uh, they I don't know what you guys do with your mash when you're done, but a lot of them give it to far- local farmers for free. We do the exact same thing. Most of a, most of the local brewers will support the local farms, and that's yeah. the easiest way because they come pick it up for free. Yeah, they yeah. get to feed their animals for free, and we get free disposal. That's cool. Yeah, and that's the really co- cool. and the hogs hogs and cattle love it. By the way, yeah. If you ever they they actually smell it and they go nuts when they do, especially pigs. Pigs love mash. It's crazy. Oh. That sounds like us with I'm beer. Not- Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, this smell, this before you so, say what oh, it is, crap. I just want to, it, it's so weird. I don't even want to taste it yet because I just want to keep smelling it. I know, right? It's it smells good so aroma. good. It's You can really smell, and, and the the coffee is like super pronounced in it, but it tastes like a, or smells like a sweet coffee too. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's really good. So which one is yeah. this that we're? So you are drinking Boomstick, which was actually the first that we released in, of the 2015 series. It's a double black rye coffee IPA, um, and we did it in collaboration with Boomtown Coffee from Houston. So that's another way that you wow. know we like to support local. Yeah. We want to go with a local supplier. You can definitely taste. The, oh my god! The coffee. That's really fun too because it changes. It does change as you're like it, it's different at the end than it is in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's it's really good beer. Um, I'm pretty impressed by how well the hop held up, though, because this beer is yeah. probably about a year old now. Okay. Um, but that's, a, of course, a good thing about the off-label series is our off-label beers are beers that you can sell her. The, so, nice. the hops in this, oh, they're not Cascade, right? 
you know what? I don't have my information sheet in front of me. There's, I couldn't tell you that type, with certainty. It's almost like Mount Hoodie, uh, something that's... Almost piney. Yeah, it's like... Uh, you, it's a, like it's weird. Cascade is like it, the, a lot of places use that for a lot of their products, but then you always get that. There's like a taste, and you're like that. It's it's a different bittering to right. it, and it's and, it's really it's really good. When and we do use Cascade in in a few of our beers, so I mean it's it's possible. Like I said, I, unfortunately, well, I don't have the information sheet on this one. Uh, I'm gonna, well, I, I need to know, so email me. How am I how am I a beer rep if I can't be prepared? Right? What's, <laughs> the, what's the ABV on this one? Just out of curiosity. On this one, it is seven oh seven point four six. Oh, yep. okay. Oh, on tap wow. dab. On tap dab. Like I just tasted kind of, it. I'm like, oh, this high. tastes like seven point four six. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean. As much I as could, that point four really at the end is nice. Well, at least I mean, that's why some it's it's fun. How, I mean, our palates have ex- changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, crazy. I feel like uh, at the beginning of this craft beer journey, mm-hmm. I probably would have tasted this and been like, uh, I don't know. Uh-huh. But now that we've been doing this for so long, uh, I really enjoy it because you can taste a yeah. lot in it. Yeah, well, I'm glad I caught you 22 yeah. episodes in then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for real. No, definitely. Yeah, yeah super. This is, that's, that's an amazing beer. That, and that's a beer that, like, you would have... This would be, like, a, a beer you would have maybe would, for breakfast at... Well, I was <laughs> In your say, cereal? This is a breakfast beer. This is an after-dinner beer. This is a... Yeah. I can definitely... So, yeah. I can Something. see drinking this with, like, a really yummy bread pudding. Ooh. Oh, wow. Right? That, that would be, be good. Yeah. so good. Or with some... Mexican leche con leche. Yes, con that sounds that like a great good balance too. Candy. A good, yes, conquistador. That, that that's true. what the conquistadors ate while they were. They lived off and, of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they didn't. They that's didn't have all. They that's all they had was yeah. sugar and, and butter. And they would snort and it. Pecans, yeah. and they would snort it. Of yeah. course, yes. of course. <laughs> conquistadors snort. They would package it in little and in, in, in baby's diapers and take it across the border back and forth. <laughs> it's <laughs> always been that way. Yeah, always, always <laughs> since the beginning. It was just in cloth diapers. It was in cloth back, diapers yeah. back then. Yeah. yeah. Since Cortez said his. <laughs> Ships in the harbor. They, There's always been. Because they brought diapers smuggling. with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was a long boat ride. You couldn't always leave the wheel with. Do you yeah. think if a, like a granola mom from Austin was was taking drugs across, across the border, it'd have to be in cloth diapers? Of course. Yes. Yeah. She of wouldn't course. be seen without cloth yeah. diapers. Yeah. 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 They're, they're just like, um, yeah, we can definitely like, smell like it out of it this. I almost cloth- snarfed on that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if it was wasn't in cloth diapers, she would be more upset that she was caught with disposable diapers than That's she true. was caught with drugs. The drugs yeah. yeah, I'd rather be caught with disposable oh my God. diapers. Or- At least I'm protecting the environment. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. I don't know. I didn't use cloth diapers on my kids because I'm fucking lazy. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. yeah then you have to wash them. You have to wash them. You, well, or you have to have a yeah. service. Keeping a diaper yeah. genie filled with Yes. With well, d- diaper of genies children. are disgusting, generally speaking. Yeah. I, I wish I had that so amount gross. of. It's like it's the energy level. Like, I, I didn't have that amount of energy with my kids. Like, yeah. I, I was too fucking lazy. Yeah. I mean, they, I think with my first, I attempted to make her baby food mm. in the beginning. Yeah. And then I was like, this is. She's not eating it anyway. Yeah. Because it doesn't taste good. Yeah. I have no idea how you feel. I changed my first diaper. Like two months ago. Did you? I was watching my nephew, uh-huh. and I was about to lay him down to go to bed. Did he spray? Don't boys do that? Do nope. they spray? Yes. Nope. Okay. Okay. Didn't happen. Okay. Yes. That did not happen. Oh, really? I my just, son all the time. He would just yeah. wait. It's like he was just waiting. No. And then as soon as I would like be off guard, right in the eye. Was it a pee diaper or poop diaper? It was a pee diaper. I've never had to change oh, okay. a poop diaper. Uh, thank you. Uh, but yeah, so I changed his diaper. I put him in a bed because I didn't want him to have to sleep in a pee diaper. Yeah, that's and nice of you. It is pretty nice of me. I know. Yeah. I felt would you so do accomplished. It, would you do it again? I would hope not to have to do okay. it again. Yeah. Until yeah. you have kids. One Until day. you have kids one, one day. day. One day. We'll see. Yeah. You're going to knock somebody up. I, Maybe you already have kids out there and you don't even know. It's possible. Yeah. We'll find out. After this podcast, yeah, Stay they'll tuned. be like, "Oh, you haven't changed the diaper, Paul. That's because you've been that around." Maybe that should be like the she's crafty 2016 uh, deadbeat dad. Episode. No, like oh, uh, oh, get nice. Paul, <laughs> the, get Paul a baby. Oh yeah, yeah, because that would be the biggest accomplishment. I think it'd be great. I think that's the title of this episode: "Get Paul a get baby." Get Paul a baby. <laughs> great. I'm glad I can contribute to that. Yes. <laughs> Ladies. We Anybody? Do, like raffle numbers? Anybody? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad this isn't a live podcast. You know what we do? I'd be getting phone calls <laughs> you know, right it'd now. It'd be super easy. It'd be super easy because we just have to find a girl that's like, meh, 35, 36. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's, she's had a hard time of it. Really is like getting to that she's point ready where she's to like, have I, a baby. I, I, yeah. My life is perfect. This is what they. This yeah. is what everybody says. My life is so great. I'm so happy and content with everything that I do. 
I just want a baby. Well, the baby's going to fuck that perfect life up. Yes. I'm yes, so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do y'all watch House of Cards? I, mean, I have, yeah. I haven't seen the new season yet. Oh, I finished the new season. Is and it I'm, good? I'm not going to give anything away, but there's a line in you there. You can't ruin anything for me ever, so... Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can I can ruin a lot. I've ruined Catherine's life. Yeah, but then <laughs> yeah. we have thousands and thousands of podcast listeners. You're oh, going to ruin for them. I can ruin all of their lives. Let's do yeah. it. No, so it's not, spo- it's, it's not a spoiler. Um, but somebody asked uh, Claire Underwood, like, do you ever regret that you didn't have children? And this girl has kids, and Claire Underwood just looks at her and says, do you ever regret having children? I'm just like, that's, it's a really shitty question to ask people. Like, oh, do you regret that you're so alone? Yeah. Because if somebody asked me, like, do you ever regret that you had children? Sometimes. Yeah. If you're honest. If you're honest. Yeah. Have you ever seen a woman, uh, like, I did, I went to the union for yoga class. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sitting there, and I'm doing, and I'm just dying and wanting to cry the whole yeah. time because it's 112 degree, and all these thin vegan women are farting nonstop the whole time. <laughs> mm-hmm. And now it's you know why disgusting. I don't yoga. And yeah. well, but the thing is, just like an 85 year old gal there, and her face is kind of, you can tell there's a lot of age on it, but her body was slamming. Yeah. And you, she, she out in the parking lot, she had a Mercedes, which probably meant that she spent her life for her right. and she enjoyed her life yeah. and that some people find like having children completes you and other people find that I'm perfectly content spending all my money mm-hmm. on me right. yeah. and not having to worry about fucking someone else's life yeah. Yeah. my sister I worry is a about. mom she loves being a mom more yeah. than anything in the world yeah. she lo- and she's depressed when her son isn't there Right. she doesn't know how to not be a mom and yeah. that's right. sad that's to me that's sad yeah I think yeah. it's you have to find a balance between yeah. Like when your kids graduate high school, yeah, you're gonna fall apart a little bit, I not mean, forever, but you're gonna have that week where you're just like, huh. I think that like you give so much to your kids, yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah, it's sad when if you're a good a, mom, it's sad if there's a possibility that they could not be, you know, have to ask you for everything. What else am I doing? Am I'm I the not only person that has the, the bag sandwich? of blows saved for when my kids go to college? Oh, no. We've college? already talked about this, Okay, right? all right. Like, when we get to a certain just age, sure. we're just saying, fuck You're never too old to do cocaine, by the way. Oh, really? Fuck oh, yeah. No, oh. no. We're getting to be senior citizens, and it's all about ha- heroin. <laughs> and Heroin's not all cracked up. One night be. stands. And all the stuff that I never all did. All the guys in the nursing when home I was a kid. that just are filled yeah. with like, Viagra. I'm, like, if I yeah. go back in my life and I think of what's the one thing I didn't do that uh-huh. I wish I had done, just been a big fucking whore. Yeah. I yeah. didn't do it. And I have, all my friends have all these great stories. If anybody's listening, Catherine says <laughs> that the waiting. one thing she Catherine regrets. wants to be a whore. Catherine <laughs> wanted, I wanted more one night stands. So... We can you make can that. send an email to she's crafty podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you send a picture of your face and yeah. a dick pic, and we'll forward it yeah. on to Catherine. Actually, just send the dick pics. Can we okay. change the title of this episode to Catherine wants to be a whore? Be a whore. Wants to be a whore. I don't actually, want to be a whore right if now. If you don't think that'll get like a million hits, <laughs> then you're I, crazy. Listen, I don't want to be a whore right now because sure I'm still a fertile age. Uh, yeah. 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 Let's just wait. Let's wait till I'm yeah. post yeah. menopause. Yeah. No, yeah. uh, two years. Listen. Let's wait till those eggs are fried. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wait till the eggs are dried up and yeah. fried. Yeah. And then we can we can ride this babies. train well, all the way up. My, uh, my older sister had a baby at uh, 46. I'm sorry. No. Mm-mm. Oh. No. Wow. That's that's no. That's mm, terrifying. No. Yeah. That's no. terrifying. Yeah. I have a cutoff age. I would say yeah. like 36. Because then you so want to be the grandpa off. at the high school graduation. Right. They're just like, is oh. that your grandpa? No, that's my dad. That's my dad. Yeah. Well, for just, just for a second, let's think about Is that his daughter? That oh. No, that's my mom. See, that's how that usually works. Yeah. 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 It's always that spring. Yeah. yeah. I have, let yeah. me tell you something, because I have a 14-year-old daughter, okay? And people, and she looks older than 14. Oh, and they always think? People do not think that I'm her mom. Yeah. And the other day, we went to Blue Star for just like a little Sunday lunch and the guy comes up and he's like uh, would you like a beer right and I was like no I'm okay and then he turns to my 14 year old daughter and, and he her. goes would you like a beer and I was like um she's 14 oh that's not you don't card people here or that's what? terrifying it was terrifying that's terrifying and he was like oh I'm sorry and I was like okay well I'm her mom so oh, wow now I'm pissing you <laughs> just so you know <laughs> well, that's no, not but okay that, no, but that's a perfectly legitimate question when the, the, both women are dressed alike 
And we were not. Two, and they're wearing two <laughs> tops. <laughs> right. And they're dressed alike. So, right, right. Because yeah. that's how I always roll out with a tube top. Oh, tube top. Tube top. top. Yes. I had worn a tube top. I had on my like Jonas Brothers t shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I was ready to go. This beer, I noticed at the end of the glass, you can t- taste the hops a lot more. Yeah. Is that just me? Or maybe no, it's just no, like you yeah. could, I mean, it's, like it's as it warm, warming up. As it warms warm up, maybe yeah. the, those flavors are coming so out. Like most beers, most beers are going to change. Well, most good craft beers are mm-hmm. going to change right. as they warm up. Change for the better. Change for the better. Not like lighter beers. Other beers. Tend to, I don't think lighter beers, when they are when they warm up, they they get better though. It seems like like lighter beers to me always have to be they have to be served and maintained kind of cold. When you say lighter but beers, like what do you mean? Beer, like a like a, a steam beer or a, a, you know any of the pilsnery stuff. But like with stouts, stouts almost lend themselves to being at room a temperature. Warmer. Oh you know? yeah. Right. Uh, we we talked about porters. that before. Porter should be yeah. porter should be kind of warm too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, anything in a green bottle should be cold, basically. Anything like Dos Equis. Green Dos bottles. Dos Equis is terrible if it well, warms up. If it comes slightly. in a green bottle, it's probably not a craft beer. No. Well, the thing that I, I was. I've seen what about them? Uh, yeah. We learned about. No, that's not even a craft. We learned beer. about that about the how they'll do them in the lighter glasses, and it's like the most horrible thing for light to come through. And then the funniest part was thinking about it was all started when we were talking about. Uh, frozen right. glasses yes. and how people get them and then then you'll want it uh, with the salt and the lime. I was like, oh shit, they're just doing that to disguise the taste of the beer. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, wow. But they do it on purpose. If you yeah. Need salt and allow lime the light to beer, penetrate. Beer yeah. But you know, my whole life I was like, fuck yeah, dress that shit up. Although, yeah. although I say that the salt I want my beer, beer to be pretty. Yeah. But uh, a half of ice in with a slice of orange, that can really set it off really well. Yeah. Uh, well, not it can. It can. Uh, not I, always, I wouldn't, though. Not Most with of them a half of ice With a wit beer, because wit beer is made with coriander. Hefeweizen mm. is made with Hefeweizen yeast, so you're going to get the banana clove, mm. and you'll get a slight citrus, but you really want to taste the banana clove. So you're going to—that's why you, you would garnish like, I mean, for lack of a better example, like a Blue Moon because it's yeah. it's a wit beer. But I wouldn't recommend garnishing El Jefe. Not a fan of Blue Moon. I usually just put El Jefe. I inject it into a banana. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's interesting. That's almost, yeah. That's mm. one of the best ways to have it. Yeah. It's yeah. How I drink it every why time. You? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's you drink really it, you complicated. Suck, you just suck it out of the banana or what? Yep, yep. All right. Yeah, and I get really weird looks. Yeah, because yeah. you're sucking out of banana. Yeah. yeah. I like uh, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's not weird. I, I think oh, people really? would you like that to a lot? see that. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, I saw my daughter eating a banana. Shower challenge. Challenge. Yes. Yeah. Right. I saw suck my daughter sucking up an hour in the shower. I saw my daughter eating a banana the other day, and I was like, you're not eating another fucking banana for the rest of your life. You're eating bananas in this house and nowhere else. You are not allowed to eat a banana Anywhere. You're gonna yeah. mash them first. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I always get food. like I always feel super awkward at the grocery store when I like am trying to pick cucumbers. Because you're testing them out. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, nice. I hope nobody's watching me. Yeah. I'm like, that's, but that's probably how guys feel getting anything else. Any melons, like cantaloupes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, tomatoes, yeah. oranges, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two avocados. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's just like, look at that fucking pervert picking out yeah. fruit. Like, oh that's god. Awesome. Trying to find the biggest cantaloupes you can. Yes. That's yes. pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. So as we're going along, yes. Our next beer that we're going to try right after this break from our right. sponsor mm-hmm. is I'm going to tease it out a little bit. It is my all-time favorite beer. So if you far. listen oh, wow. to the She's Crafty podcast, you know what it is probably. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. I fell in love with this beer and I'm not letting it go. Yeah. That's why I so it. so off label better not start making it or I'm going to riot outside. The, actually, this I'm going to save it. I'm going to save, save it. it. Save it. Okay. Save after it. the break. Perfect. All right. All right. We'll be back. Woo. Um, is this a frat party? Yeah, my sister invited us. She said there'd be good beer. Okay, well, let's check it out. Ooh, check out that guy. Damn. Hey, hot balls. Nice can. I'm more than just my beer. Hey, how about you bring your beer and more than just your beer over here and share? Oh, wow. He's actually coming over here. Is that... Is that Busted Sandal 2 and 0 Ale? Hell yeah, and the Slippery Rock IPA. I didn't appreciate your objectification of my cans and my hot body. Uh, it was definitely just your cans. You brought Busted Sandal beer. It was totally your cans. 
To find out where you can find Busted Sandal cans in San Antonio, New Braunfels, and Austin, head over to bustedsandalbrewing.com slash can locator. And don't forget, you can also find all their other beers on draft in San Antonio, Houston, and the Rio Grande Valley. Bustedsandalbrewing.com. We're back. We're back. We're back. Oh, I'm just going to sit here and smell it. So just from smelling it, I know what it is. Oh, my God. Which is super exciting. That's good. You're you're further along than you were. It feels like I'm just going back into time a little bit, right back to pumpkin patches. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Right back to the fall. Oh. I, I don't think it's a secret anymore. No, no secret. No, this so. nightmare on First Street. Oh, I don't even have to announce it. Best thing sit here ever. And Brandy could do my job. Brandy can sell all the nightmare on so First Street Brandy, for me. So Brandy, during the fall season, uh, went on a tour of pumpkin beers. Yes, right. Yes, I did. And, and that's when I discovered. Some, this. That's when she discovered this. Mm-hmm. And she, she had some that she didn't like as much. They were shit. Yeah. That were shit. Yeah. And this one to her was perfect. And not only was it perfect for Brandy, but we also have friends uh, in Houston and Katie mm-hmm. that also were are huge fans of this beer. Uh, mm-hmm. Josh Simpson. Uh, I'm, I just you did, did it again. again. You Drunk did it Jackson again. Dr- <laughs> Josh Stewart of Interbrews <laughs> happens to be a huge fan of this beer as well. Shout out Josh Simpson, <laughs> the imaginary out, version. Shout out Josh Simpson, James Simpson, James Simpson and, Josh Stewart. and Josh Stewart. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that, actually, the last time when Catherine went to Katie, she called him Josh Simpson on accident. Yeah. And so he actually started he a, created Twitter. a Twitter handle. Yeah. Yeah. Drunk. I must have missed that. I, I did listened you listen to the, to the I, missed, I listened Katie to the podcast. Episode? I did. Okay. You yeah. and everyone else. I would. I yeah. I would. We delicious. can I just tell you that during that Katie episode, we had been drinking homemade cider. We we actually taped two episodes that day. The second episode was the she's crafty episode. The first episode was the interbrews episode. That episode taped for about two hours. The whole time we were drinking cider. So by the time we got to the she's crafty episode, we were. Schnockered. There, there, Schnockered. There and so go. I was calling people by other people's last names and then adding a first name and uh, just trying to get through you it. You know, you could kind of tell on that. Could episode. you tell? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, of you being in Katie. Yes. And you didn't go to no label. It was Sunday. And, and they were not open. It was okay. That See, was actually, we didn't know that. Yeah. That it was, was our Sunday. first ask to Josh. Yes. Was trying to work get, that out. But he said they're not open on Sunday. Yeah. We, so we would have made it happen. It. Okay. Well, we will go again. We'll and, go again. And we for want sure. you to be there. Yeah. And and maybe we could take our friend Josh from Inner Brews and James Simpson from What's on Top Tap Radio. Yep. And uh, Caleb from Texting. And Caleb from Texting Brewing. Yep. And we can do another round table. That'd be lots of fun. That would be way cool. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like fun. We can yeah. definitely make that happen. Awesome. We could do a beer and cheese pairing there. We can. I know Brian and Jennifer love doing I think podcasts. That Brian and, and Jennifer cheese. have done a beer and cheese pairing with yep. Josh, right? They did. But ours will be better. I'm just saying it will. Well, yeah. Listen, Josh, if you're listening, <clears throat> I think we all know that anything that we do is probably just 5% better. 5%. But his voice is about 10% no, better than ours. No, he definitely has a better... Yes. He, and he's more professional in his uh, delivery he is. of everything. He is. Yes, so I he's know. he's 150 episodes deep? He's That's 150 true. episodes deep, yes. yes. So when we get to 150, we'll be We're talking gonna be like, like this. Uh, Hello, and welcome to the She's Crafty Podcast. You're going to sound like you should be on NPR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to be all boring as fuck. Yeah. We'll I, my That's voice, gonna be our my koozie, voice is just going to get spot. really shaky. Like, uh, what's her name? Diane. Hi, this is Diane. Welcome to. Yeah, just like that. Welcome to She's Grafty. But you know what? She's hot as shit, too. Is she? Are you serious? Yeah, she's only like 36. She had like a. She oh, yeah, she's got something surgery wrong. Surgery or voice. something bad happened yeah, to her yeah. voice. Yeah. She had a deep throating accident. Yeah. Oh, poor. poor well, that definitely poor could be any one of our futures. We have no idea what yeah. could happen. It's possible. We can only hope, you guys. We well, can only hope. That, yeah. He's a nutty, sugary Mexican. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They're oh. good. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're doing a plug for this candy. But Every time. I don't, I don't, don't even know who, where, where they come. I'm assuming they're made in Mexico, but I don't know. Maybe Who's we can be sponsored by Mexico. Maybe shout out Trump. Trump. I thought we were shout out Canada. Oh, yeah. We are we're shout, shout out Canada. anybody that listens to us. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care where they're from. Mm. We have a couple listeners in Iraq. Shout out to the shut ins. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we have. You should do. I, well, sometimes I go and I look at our stats, and I'm like, really? Really? 
Pakistan? People in Korea? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if there's just people plotting to kill you because whore (gasps) women talking about that alcohol? Probably. It probably is. Filthy whores. Yeah. Probably. probably Catherine wants to have sex all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. But they keep people listening. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, okay, the flavors in this beer that I'm tasting because, of course, the pumpkin, but it's, is it less pumpkin spice and we're talking about more of the actual pumpkin? Is that why it's a, a flavor that I like more? So this is actually, I guess by volume in the mash, the biggest beer that we do. It mm-hmm. runs all the way to the top where sometimes we have a lot of space. It's a lot of pumpkin, cinnamon, allspice, mm-hmm. uh, and brown sugar. Brown sugar helps boost the, the ABV on that. And that you can really taste. There's nothing that's, I would say, any more or less than the other. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's just the way that it's brewed. Uh, A lot of the flavors stand out. I don't know why. I remember it tasting a little sweeter. Yeah. And it doesn't taste as sweet to me this time. It may have um, lost a little bit of the sweetness. Okay. Of course, it was brewed in September. Okay. Um, But that's the good thing about this beer is that it's not. You're not losing anything. If you're losing sweetness, you're still getting a great yeah, 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 pumpkin yeah. beer out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. So good, you it, guys. It, it's it really is. good. It is. Like, that's that's probably the best pumpkin beer I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. because it's not, it doesn't hit you over the head with, yeah. like, a lot of uh, pumpkin. Well, right. It's not overwhelming one way yeah. or another. I, I belonged to a home brewer's guild uh, up in New York for a long time. And we used to make different things. Someone made a pumpkin. I made one with yams. Mm. Yep. And it was called Yamtastic. Mm. That's and good. it tasted like a dead dog's asshole. It was the worst <laughs> thing that I've ever but tasted. you know what? There's a beer for everybody in there. The, no, be this beer, like, this I beer wasn't this beer even for paint tasted stripping. tasted more like a dead dog's asshole. <laughs> oh, it was so horrible. And But I had such great hopes for it because I did everything according to all the, like the home brewer's Bible said and, you know, joy of brewing, home brewing and all that. And I did everything exactly step by step. And I'd made probably 50 batches of beer before that and never mm-hmm. any problems. They just went in and it had that really, um, like, bad, like, overripe banana type of flavor to it. That it but it also, t- it astringent, like, a mouthful of peroxide. It was just, it was now not Now that you good. say it, that is exactly what a dead dog's asshole, asshole tastes, tastes like. like. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you know? we did that dead yeah. dog's asshole well, tasting yeah, that one Of course, you put peroxide on it before you tongue punch a dead well, dog yeah, in the yeah. you don't want to. I grew up like, in a trailer. We got bored. Don't lot, want it to be yeah. dirty. And we had a lot of dead Plen- dogs. And plenty of peroxide, yeah. apparently. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Peroxide fixes everything, I think. Even hair. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You could do a lot of is peroxide. That what, is that yeah. she looking at your hair and thinking you threw know. peroxide on no, it? No, I was thinking is. we could do highlights. We could should try Some that. ghetto highlights. You should have yeah. a podcast where you give her highlights while you do the podcast. Oh, that will oh. turn out so great. That sounds great. <laughs> I can't wait for that episode. Yay. So enthusiastic. Yeah, I can't wait. Mm. Yeah, sounds wonderful. So what I liked about this also was, um, like, the... I'm trying to... Okay, so this is where I'm going to sound stupid, but the pumpkin beers that are lighter, like, in in a uh, mouthfeel, is that okay. correct? Is that the correct... Less full body? Nope, less yeah. full body? That would be correct. Okay. I don't like them. Like, I like you them, like but I don't... You like a little heavier. A little heavier, but not too heavy. So I've had some others that are super, super heavy. And I and and I really like um, Pumpkinator, but it's also a little boozy to me sometimes. And this, I can... That's why we enjoyed it so much. Right. It's like... It's it's uh, not alcoholic, Like, overly... But for a nine... Like, this is 9.27%. Yeah. And you would never know. No. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. This is like... This is <laughs> this qualifies as a panty dropper beer. I'm just saying because you don't know what you're getting into. Right. Like that's yeah. 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 Is that should that be a new classification on panty Untapped? dropper? You can like just click panty dropper. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Perfect. We yes. can call them up and pitch that idea. And how do okay. you how we, so this is we're just strictly doing panty dropping based on ABV and drinkability and, and drinkability yes so if you're drinking something i feel like and it the, doesn't feel and mouthfeel. right yes. and, well you want to be, to be very full in your mouth correct exactly. yes yeah so but if you've got a higher abv but it doesn't and taste like it's that, that high of an abv that, that's a panty yeah, dropper beer. that makes sense yeah that i always describe it as pumpkin pie in a bottle yes yes good pumpkin pie yeah oh yeah i don't know if i had a bad pumpkin pie but maybe i'm just lucky 
I've had some shitty pumpkin I've pie. had some shitty pumpkin pie because I thought it was pumpkin and it ended up being uh, sweet potato. Yam tastic. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Which is never good. You didn't like sweet potato pie? I don't mind sweet potato pie, but I like to. I thought it was pumpkin. Is what uh, I'm saying. That's the old tranny switch. Yeah. 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 Like mm. I, I just want to know. You know. Don't That's lie true. to me. Don't lie to me. That's true. Yeah. So I'm, um, I'm so sad that all of you hated this beer. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm going to keep I'm gonna it right it over here by me. Worry. Don't yeah, worry yeah. at all. Everything's fine. I'm going to keep it safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, I w- it was going to be a secret, but I actually have another bottle for you. <gasps> that Shut you the can front oh. door. Oh. See, my husband's going to send you a nice thank you letter. Yeah, right. I like yeah. it. Because Paul, for some whatever, it was a panty drop Exactly. Yeah. Jay, we have a situation <laughs> here. For whatever reason, uh, Paul has drawn a line in the sand, and he's decided that brandy is his favorite. Yeah. And it I'm happens. like, the, I'm just the, the She's leftovers. She's right there, Costello, to his abbot. Yes. See, but I, I can. Uh, I'm totally okay with that because you I, get free beer. Yeah, that, and I feel like Catherine gets a lot of um, fandom just because of your availability. <laughs> Well, that okay, and that, that it's word yeah. on the street. She's a whore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or life goals. That is not even. Yeah. That is not, not even. Yes, we have run into that a few times. Yes, mm-hmm. I, but sometimes we've run into some super Brandy creepy people. Some people that are think it's super hot that she's married and also on this podcast. Yeah, so that's interesting. You, so you get it too. You like beer? You get it oh, too. It's so hot. Dude. What's hotter than a couple of chicks talking about I love it beer? The way you yeah. Do your podcast and your workout mm. clothes and yeah, you yeah. avoided and no a makeup comb today. Yeah. Yeah. You avoided yeah. a comb today. I love. I feel like that's so. I love your sassy mouth. <laughs> it's so undermining when people are like, um, "We'll talk to people," and they're like, "Oh, well, how many people listen to the podcast?" And we'll tell them, be like, "Oh, yeah, well, who doesn't love chicks with beer?" Like, I know. Well, there's some good content in there too, you yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's audio, so like yeah. you can't see me I know. anyway. Oh, can, we I can, do be a, can I do a shameless plug? Yeah, yes. sure. But that's like Please. it's like with female comedians. Yeah. They assume that a female comic, oh, she's going to talk about her cats and her period. No. Almost every woman comic that I've worked with who's a professional, I'm not talking Talks about, about like... Talks about their vagina. They, well, well they, yeah, but the, <laughs> the guys usually talk about their dick. So, I mean, but when it comes yes. down to it, almost all of them are absolutely hilarious. Like, I'm working with Mary Ellen Hooper this week at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy uh-huh. Club. Both of you should come, by the way. Bring, bring whoever. I'll get you all tickets, right? Nice. But it, you too, you know, just... Thank you. Uh, Thank yeah, you. please. Uh, I'm like the afterthought, you have, but it's you okay. Have to, you have to wear a wig. Well, no. I will wear a wig. Well, no, because okay, they both have like have been borrowed. to the comedy club before. Yeah, yeah, and some yeah. people just like, eh, I don't really like comedy. You know, which is weird. because I don't, I don't like to that. laugh. That's really weird. I hate it, it laughing. Weird, I yeah, hate being happy. Hate those people. What an asshole. Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of times it's weird that they can't assume that women will enjoy beer or they enjoy stand-up right. or that they enjoy guns. Yeah. Right. Which, I go, when I go to the gun range, there's a ton of women who go out there and are shooting all the time and they're pretty badass, too. Yeah, yeah. And um, I want to combine all three of those. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. Gun, lady, beer, and, and a woman. Yeah, like if That's, I can find a girl I mean, who can shoot a gun and drink. Just don't combine just, two of those while she's like, on her period. Yeah. 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 Just don't throw the That's, guns, uh, the beer, that, and... That honestly yeah. sounds like... like I mean, it would be fun, but I wouldn't want to see the after effects. Yeah. If you're drinking and shooting a gun. Well, no, okay. she's an asshole. Yeah. You don't and, want to be and then yeah. she's, yeah. you know, a woman who's right. upset yeah. because she's on a period. Yeah, an right. unreasonable woman. An don't, unreasonable don't give, woman. Don't, no, give women Hillary, are great. don't give Hillary a gun it, while it, she's that, drinking. That's, that might have been yeah. what I was getting at. <laughs> uh, any woman I've ever met that drinks, if she gets mad when she's drinking, yeah, alcohol doesn't necessarily help the situation. But she's yeah. already crazy. But yeah, she's already going to be pissy, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Same yeah. with guys. Every guy I know that drinks, if he's an asshole before he starts drinking, comes out. he's an asshole yeah. after, but just a bigger, louder, yeah. douchier yeah. one and more opinionated. Right. I get more That's happy true. when I'm drinking. I do, And too. then I take a nap. I get super happy and loving and invite people yeah. over to my house. Yeah. 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 And then take a nap. And then take yep. a nap. I, and yep. I get really hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What's your go-to drunk food? Oh, Anything Lord. with bread. Yeah. Right? yeah. Carbs. Carbs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll just like get bread and dip it in whatever is in my fridge. Like I've dipped bread in pickle juice before. I'm not even lying. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. No, I get really that. Really delicious I get to me. That. Yeah. Is that they have like this artisan like sourdough at Central Market, and oh. then you get like real butter. Oh, oh god. Like so a, make good. a grill. Did you ever see the movie Chef? 
No. Yes. Okay. With makes, Mike, uh, our, with, uh, what's his name? He, uh, the guy who was in everything. He was on Friends, too. Uh, uh, I'll remember in a second, uh, but oh, he makes oh, a grilled oh, cheese sandwich for his son with like four different types yes. of cheese on oh. this thick sourdough oh. bread. Listen. It was so good. All right, thank you for listening. Yeah, I've got to go. Out, thank you for listening. My, my very sweet boyfriend. He one time he asked me, "What do you want for dinner?" Right, and I was like, "I was like, you know what? I just want a grilled cheese. That's what I want." So he went and he Googled how to make the best like grilled, a cheese. grilled cheese, and he sandwich. went and bought all these grilled, all this cheese. And he was like so excited about making this grilled cheese sandwich, and it was delicious. Oh, I so you were I say he burned it. No, no, it was so <laughs> no. good. I saw something that we actually need to try. I think this should be inspiration for our next recipe. I saw a like a beer and cheese grilled cheese sandwich. Oh my oh, gosh, nice. I'm done. I'm where in. Where you do I'm where you use like the beer with the butter whenever you're doing yes. it, and you use like a heavier beer. Oh my god, oh. that sounds so good. Yeah. It's also, so good. and this is just. If you ever want to try it, it's it works and it's good. Samuel Smith's old style Taddy Porter. Uh, you take it, you get it in a saucepan, and you reduce it like you would with balsamic vinaigrette mm-hmm. to make a reduction. And you get it to it's almost a syrup, and then you oh. pour it over ice cream. Oh! And it's like the it's like there's a slightly Shit. bitter, chocolatey, burnt type of flavor that oh goes with the vanilla. Oh. Fuck, ice she's cream. crafty. Yeah. She's it's fucking so, hungry. She's yeah. hungry. Yeah. Yeah. He's, so, so, he's a comedian well, and a cook. That's, that's yeah. Great. He listened to that. Mm-hmm. My yeah, okay. So here's a funny story. Not to sidetrack us too much, but my boyfriend like he loves to Google things and then make things for me, right? Uh huh. Uh, Sunday morning, he was like, uh, I'm super excited because I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you this omelet because he learned how to make the perfect omelet. Ooh. And now he wants to put everything in a fucking omelet. <laughs> like, everything in an omelet. Peanut butter and everything. jelly. Everything. So he made me this omelet. I'm not even lying to you right now. It had craft shells and cheese in it. I was about <gasps> to say a macaroni and cheese omelet, which would oh. be the greatest thing. It had, oh. it had hot dogs in it. Oh my god. Okay, it's wrapped. Hot, does, wait, hot dogs? It had like wheat like wait. weenies in it. Yeah. Hot dogs are Shells delicious. and cheese. Really? He wrapped it perfectly because now he knows how to perfectly make the omelet, right? So he just sandwiched it perfectly. It looked okay. beautiful. He put bacon in the egg. Okay. And then right. he like drizzled sriracha okay. on the top. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Jesus. So it was and it was huge. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. So I ate half of it. He ate the other half. He's kind of a big guy, so he was like, I'm going to make another one, right? So he made another one. He ate that one. This morning, he texted me, and he was like, yesterday was the worst day of my life. Oh, for eating two? <laughs> but that's actually, as soon as you started, I, I was thinking macaroni and cheese and omelet, which would be the greatest thing. Yeah, that's what he did. Macaroni oh, and yeah. cheese will make anything better. Better. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And I yeah. love it on everything. There I love it on pizza once. thing I've ever Ooh, eaten. They, yes, yeah. I've had that, too. Had at Mad Pecker, they have the fries the with, messy the, pecker with the fries. shells and yeah. cheese. Yeah. There's a burger, a bacon mac and cheese burger that I saw somewhere with a Chipotle uh, mac and horrible. cheese on it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Sunday or so Saturday at the Ranger Creek. At the Ranger Creek event, I had sliders. That were uh, like patty, cheese, peanut butter and jelly, shut bacon. Up. Oh, so shut good. up! So oh. fucking good. Oh, oh my so good. Gosh. I saw a peanut butter and jelly beer the other what? day. We're no, no. Take it back. Take it back. It was a soda. Oh. It was definitely soda. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because I was at World Market. And, like, the girls like to go pick out, like, weird sodas yeah, 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 on yeah, the yeah. weekend. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, it was a peanut butter and jelly soda, but nice. they they were too uh, scared to try it. Yeah. They yeah. didn't taste it? Nope. Nope. Why were they scared? Just I don't know. the idea of the peanut butter, maybe. Because I could, like, a grape soda would be fine. Yeah. Hmm. So, can I segue peanut butter back into yeah, beer? Yeah, absolutely. Peanut Give butter it. into Bring some it. sort of perpetual peanut butter? Or perpetual... Actually, we won't get into how peaceful... It oh. will be. We'll go. We'll jump ahead to the end of April for our next off-label series. I smell mm-hmm. banana. Peanut butter chocolate time. <gasps> peanut butter really? chocolate time. Yeah, we're gonna do peanut butter chocolate time. It's gonna be an imperial stout. Oh yeah! Wow. Nine point nine percent ABV. So you can look oh. for that at the end of April. That Hashtag sounds like a, that sounds like a Katie trip. F F F F U M. F U F M. There you go. F U F M. F F F G G R R S. That sounds so good. It's gonna be delicious. We actually had it at our fifth anniversary party, nice. yeah, which was this past December. So we are five years old. Awesome. Um, which, okay, don't quote me on it, but I like to say it anyway. 
at five years makes us the third oldest brewery in the Houston area. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't so, know that. Of course, St. Arnold's 21. Right. I don't know how old Southern Star is, but they're definitely older than we are. Nice. And then that puts us at five years. Well, Everybody else is I less feel than really that. good about this because we've right. had St. Arnold, Southern Star, and now Low Label. Hello. Part of our little And show. actually, I didn't notice we had them on in the order of age. We sure did, actually. We, Look at we that. totally planned that. Yeah. We did that I, on I purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Peanut butter chocolate mm. stout. That Yum. sounds magical. It does. It it's, was it was wonderful at the at the party. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be just as wonderful when we brew it again. Nice. It's like a Girl Scout cookie. Mm. It is like a Girl Scout cookie. Oh. It is. What are those With the alcohol. tagalongs? The tagalongs are my very favorite. Is I like that to put what them it in is? the freezer. Really? Mm. The yeah. peanut butter and the chocolate with the peanut butter in the middle. Yeah, those are really stupid yeah. good. Have you ever you ever taken a tag along and put it between two thin mints? Oh. That sounds good. No, but I would do that. I would totally I would do definitely that. Definitely do that. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, tell us a little bit about this beer, Paul. So, actually, we're going to talk about my favorite beer that we brew at No Label Brewing, and you are drinking Perpetual Peace, which oh. is also our. I, I want to say it's the beer that that people have had that we brew that they love the most. It's the one that people go crazy over. I feel like I've heard about this beer so much. I really have. Yeah. Starting with, uh, once again, Josh Stewart asking us if we had tried it, and we had not tried it yet. Mm -hmm. And I had, this is my very first time to try it, which is super exciting. But uh, he described it in a really amazing way, and he said it was just like this beautiful, like, melodic Beer that concert inside of his mouth. Yeah, it was just amazing. (laughs) And I was like, oh my God, you know that I work, Brady and I are the only people reading this right now, so you don't have to make it so so awkward. Wow, this is a private message. I'm (laughs) making me uncomfortable. (laughs) My husband's like, what is he writing in that message? It was about beer. It's about beer. I promise. Oh my gosh. The best beer. Uh, So it is a bourbon barrel aged We Heavy. Um, So We Heavy is. Scott, Scottish ale. Okay. Stronger Scottish ale. Okay. Um, this one actually comes in at 11.67. Oh, my oh word. My shit. Wow. I'm going to need Jesus another taco. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you are, because we're going to finish this bottle. Oh, my God. This was, okay, so the first Scotch ale I had wasn't until um, last week. While I was editing episode number 21 was the Guadalupe brewing scotch ale that was the first yes. one i had and i really enjoyed it, it i got good. a growler full to take home over the weekend oh you did mm-hmm. nice. yeah and the guests enjoyed it and this one this one has a lot more flavor to it like there's something i'm and that's going to come from the from the bourbon of course okay. i mean the base beer is delicious as well mm-hmm. we don't put out the base beer you can get it at the brewery from time to time mm-hmm. but generally whatever we brew is going to go into bourbon barrels um this particular batch we used Old Forester barrels. Mm-hmm. Let's say last year we did wild turkey. So it's actually quite interesting to see how nice. the bourbon affects the flavor of the beer oh, from yeah. year to year. And it's not over. I like it too because it's not overly boozy. You can still right. taste the beer. It's not like you have a some of the some of the beers. Well, which one? It wasn't BB Eleven, but it was like um, Bishop's Barrel Nine, maybe the St. Arnold one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really good, but it was so boozy that yeah. at the end of the night, I mean, I felt like I was taking shots with every sip that I took. Yeah, and I don't know if that was just maybe that barrel or, right. or what it was, but it was, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was good though. It was real good, but I, yeah, I couldn't finish it. I had to like pass it around the table to help finish yeah. my beer. Yeah. So we actually did do a a version of the perpetual piece that may have come off a little bit more boozy. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a barrel select. That actually was only in the Houston market I this year. I saw that year. with a little blue uh, with seal the, on the top. Yeah, we wax. We mm. put a wax cover over them. We wax, waxed them. It keeps really? the. Oh, I didn't see that. Nope. I saw and it on mine. Where is your brewery? In Katy. In Katy, Katy okay. Texas. Katy, Texas, home of the Rassfields and the Katy Tigers, y'all. Shout out. Shout out, Tigers. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, I'm from yeah. San Antonio, so. Do you go to Katy a lot for. Um, I try to go about once a month. Okay. That way I can yeah. see what they're doing, get to try yeah. some of the beers before yeah. they make it out to the market. That way I can talk about them with better knowledge. Do you get to try stuff that's not going to make it out? Like the I thing? do. Yeah? Yeah, we've, we've had quite quite a bit of, of different things. Uh, we get to try them, and then we put them on tap at the brewery and allow people to come in and try them. And then if people start talking about them and asking for them again, then um, that's how we decide to put them oh, 
oh, cool. um, out into the market as a as a regular brew. That's how off label gets gets done most of the time. That's how we ended up with peanut butter chocolate time. We're gonna nice. replace boomstick with peanut butter peanut chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate time. time. Exactly. Yeah. I think we need to do a video. For we're that. To definitely gonna do. We're gonna do yeah. a music video. Yeah. Shower banana video first. And banana anything sh- else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So well, fine. I'm just gonna lay to do down that. some hot rhymes. Actually, if you two could do a shower banana video together, Lady oh, in the Tram style, yeah. we'll find body doubles. Yeah, yeah. We'll, you don't we'll want get to some interns in the shower. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have the body <laughs> That's why this is audio. You got me That's and Travis. Oh yeah, perfect. <gasps> perfect. Oh my gosh. Yes. Or what? It, it just starts panning down, and, yes. then it's, and then it's your body from the neck yes. down. Doesn't yeah. he call himself peanut butter jelly hands or something? That's perfect. Oh, butter, 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 pop- popcorn, 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 butter, popcorn, fingers. butter hands. Yeah, that's popcorn, what it is. Popcorn, butter hands. Popcorn, butter hands. That's right. Shout out Travis. Yeah, one of the funniest guys I know. That was, yeah. Um, no, that sounds so good. It I can't does. wait for that. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So we we actually do um, promotional videos for all the beers that we do. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them. If you haven't seen them on YouTube, they're on YouTube. I no check label it out. channel. You nice. do have to check it out because Jennifer, one of the owners, she is costume crazy so she nice. is always in costume in these videos what? i've awesome. seen some of the behind the scenes photos shared too from the yes yes the there's a lot of outtakes yes nice she dressed up like an octopus once <laughs> I, okay it was really it was really supposed to be a spider what? for black widow which yeah. is our fall beer yeah but it, it if, was if you watch it, the video you'll it's understand that's amazing. yeah yeah that's so, so cool i know i really like um no labels the whole thing, like the marketing, the marketing of off-label, that's kind of what drew me into to Nightmare on First Street. Because then you, I went to the off-label website, and it was just like a cool website, the way it was set up. You can learn so much about the beer. It's very easy to get into. And I just, I don't know, I like the whole feel yeah. of what uh, no-label and off-label. Right. It's, a, it's a real yeah. clean website. Yeah. Um, I mean, not that the regular no-label website isn't, but, you know, we kind of know the seriousness of, yeah. of the off-label series that we're doing because you we are branching out beer. yeah we're branching yeah. out to a different a different beer drinker with right. the off-label series yes. and, but we're not alienating anybody either so yeah I would say so if it tastes like pumpkin pie I don't think you're alienating no anyone. anybody can drink that yeah although yeah. there are freaks out there who hate happiness you know what and there That's are freaks true. out there that are on the no pumpkin train yes there the are people pumpkin, that are not ever going beer. to drink a pumpkin beer but yeah. here's where i think it comes from it comes from two things it's well mainly one thing it's just everybody that jumps on the bandwagon and then they just produce something and it's not a good beer right and so you've got a ton of pumpkin ale like not just pumpkin ales but like you've got a ton of pumpkin beers out there right that are very mediocre or well, shitty yeah, they're generic yeah. yeah, it's just there. They, none of them stand. Or they're up. loaded out with like pumpkin spice, and that's just p- what you get off of that. And it's just like somebody took pumpkin spice and fucking shook it, it up in, in my beer. I'm like, yeah. oh, no, right. Yeah. And that's that's big in the beer industry. I mean, yeah. when something is is selling and something's hot, a lot right. of breweries want to jump on that. That's why there was a, an increase in. Um, of course, I'm not going to pronounce either one of these right, but mm-hmm. Saison's and, and Goza's. Right, yeah, right, because right. Because people were clamoring for them, and then it's the like market right gets now flooded. It's like right now in porn. Yeah. In porn, it's all the black couch. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. It's the same just thing. flooded. It's the same flooded thing, with black right? couch. The fact yeah. that you know that it yes. makes me so happy. Black yeah. couches well, and black beer. <laughs> Listen. Is that, a, is that really a thing? The black couch? Are you the black couch. I'm that? sorry, no. <laughs> That's great. Okay, first of all, it's so well scripted. The guy just says, so, uh, are you looking to make one to $5,000 today if you're yeah. not? Oh, oh is here? it like the and interview kind? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. I heard about it on Howard like, Stern. Right, well, okay, okay. I just sell a pretty face. I find this fascinating yes. because you are the one that's always giving me the information, and I'm like, what? Netflix and chill? I what? thought that was just my Friday night. Yes. I didn't know what that was. Now I've got to go home and ask Colby about, about the, the black, black couch. couch. Yeah, yeah, do okay. it. Okay, all right. Oh my God, I discovered that. So something that is also exciting, I'm going to go grab one of our friends that's here. Yes. Joshua Sewell Dude, from... Not just our friend. Not just our friend. Previous podcast guest. Yes. Who also happens to be a... Uh, my former high school crush. Her former high school crush that yeah. Brandy wrote a letter to and she didn't remember. Yeah. Was, and we found out last, last episode. episode. Yeah. yeah I that, was wondering. He's right here in the building. He is. He's here and in I, the building. And I, I heard he's still looking for the he letter. He doesn't have the letter yet. No. Mm-hmm. And I... Okay. So me and Catherine, there's two mm-hmm. things. Right. One... Was it really four fucking pages? Like, that's ridiculous. Right. I don't even right. remember writing a four-page letter to anybody, ever. I don't think I had as many, too many, that many thoughts when I was in And high then, school. two, we're going off of... Okay, so I never remembered writing this letter. 
And so, and, and if you're listening to this, you don't know what's going on, go back and listen to episode 21. Right. It's in the latter half of the podcast. Yes. So it, supposedly I wrote him a secret admirer letter. And then Catherine brings up a good point. She goes, what if you didn't write the fucking letter? What if it wasn't you? Like, because you didn't sign your Because I don't remember it. What if it was somebody else? But that's why I need to see it. Because I remember my own handwriting. I would, would, you I not, would remember? not remember my own handwriting from high school. I would I not. I know. Maybe I did, did it and I just blocked like, it out. I feel like, like if I had written a four-page letter to somebody in high school, yeah. I would remember writing it. Yeah, like I wrote. Because uh, I was a huge pussy. But maybe you would have blocked, like, blocked it out. Peggy Sheehan, who I, I wrote know, a girl. long, like, four-page letter asking her to the Sadie Hawkins yeah. dance. See? To which she replied, nah. And no, I, thanks. I, yeah. <laughs> I just uh, really like you as a friend, Jay. You're like my brother. Yeah. 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 Fuck that bitch. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we well, all talk. I'm going to go grab yeah, a, go my grab high school him. crush. Okay. She turned out to do very well in life, and now she's a lawyer. Oh, well. Yeah, her law- her life ended up that pretty sucks. much tits up. Yeah. That's too bad. That's, it but, would have been better if she would have ended up, like, knocked up with other kids. Right? And, like, yeah, like a meth head or something. Yeah. Yeah, then you'd have yeah. something on that. I was really upset because my high school crush was super hot in high school, and then I went and stalked him a little bit lately, and he's still fucking hot as shit. And his wife is, yeah. like, gorgeous. gorgeous. And I was like, fuck both of you. And, uh, <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. High, it happens. Yeah, it's horrible. My high school girlfriend, who I got engaged to freshman year of college, uh, she's on her third marriage now. Nice. Yeah. Dodged a bullet so there, see, good huh? thing you'd be, you'd be. An or ex. I could have had a happy family. Or you could have had a That's happy true. family. Hello, Josh. Hello. Welcome back to the She's Grouchy podcast. I hear you're letterless. Without letters today. Oh yeah, no right? letterless. Yes. No, yes. still no letter. Still nothing. Still okay. looking though. Still looking. Still looking. Okay. We got cadaver dogs on it, so. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Because the love is dead. The love so is dead. We lost the letter. <laughs> Aww, like don't call our love dead. We've made a whole new love. Oh, Josh, yeah. is, Josh is married to one of my best friends from high school. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my husband in. It's gonna be a great time. It's well, I mean, not like, like that a, kind of time. Like a yeah. swingers, kind like of a like swingers kind of time. party. Yeah, with beer. It's gonna be yeah. one of those parties when you when you go in, you have to sign a release. Yeah, it's, it's gonna and be like, it's gonna be like a bowl. swingers party with the beer with yeah. no, without the sex. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's how they all start. Right. Yes, yeah. that's exactly how they all start. They all start at the potluck. Wouldn't it be funny if you right? just got, if you guys just kissed? That would be funny. It's a, it's, a, it's a potluck, but you bring a dick instead of a instead yeah. of a, di- a dish is what yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. It's a pro block. It's a pro probing. It's yeah. a pro block. Yeah. All right, so let's ask Josh about, um, Josh, you're actually with Texas Beer Bus. Yes. So tell us a little bit about Texas Beer Bus. This is essentially what we do is we provide VIP distillery, winery, and brewery tours in uh, Houston and San Antonio. Nice. We've been around for about you know, two to two and a half years now. Owner uh, Neil Dorfman started this out, um, and from there he kind of took things off. He started in Houston, and then slowly but surely we're branching out to San Antonio, and then, you know, from wherever it takes us, takes us. So it's been a pretty awesome time so far. Nice. It's exciting. And then in Houston, you'll actually go by no label, is that correct? Yes, we definitely go by the famous No Label Brewery. And, it's and one we of love our you for it. Thank you. Yes, uh, Paul's been amazing. They make amazing You're welcome, beer. Paul. In fact, I think I've had a couple pints of uh, First Street as well as got my growler filled up by First Street. So nice. I'll be thanking you for the next day to two days. So. Oh yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Well, I think um, I have like a, a goal for Texas Beer Bus, and it's not even my company. I think that one day you need to do like a Texas tour on Texas Beer oh. Bus. You do overnights. We could find hotel accommodations yeah, I in like each that. place. I think it'd be perfect. I, I would love, and you just find like maybe you could do like each day you do a stop. Yeah. I think it's amazing. It's like yeah. a Texas Fest of Texas. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, literally, the beer of Texas would be... I the mean, beer we'd, of we'd Texas. We'd start from, like, West Texas, work the East Texas. The stars at night are there big go. and bright. Right. It's the beer of Texas. Texas. It's the beer of Texas. I think that's a great idea, though. I mean, yeah. I, I remember two years ago during the Worst Fest week, I took the whole week off, and I went on a personal Texas... Did you? I called it. It was Beercation yeah. 2014. Yeah. Well, we'd love to take a She's Crafty uh, Texas beer tour. Yeah. So if anybody wants to sponsor that, give us a give us a shout out. We'd yeah, love to. Yeah, in fact, we'd love to. I mean, we definitely look for that kind of collaboration. We'd love to have your girls on the bus. Yeah. You know, have you guys kind of show the crowd we do and kind of how we uh, run things. Nice. And we're looking forward to, I know that we're going to plan in the next coming up months ahead to right. do a She's Crafty time on the tour bus That's so we right. can tour with everybody else. And also the exciting part is that Josh brought us four different passes today. And each pass what? 
has two tickets. So for nice. you and a friend, and we're going to do a big She's Crafty giveaway. We are. But you have to stay tuned to our social media after this uh, episode drops and uh, to find out how you can win. Yes. So follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Google Plus to see uh, how you can get those tickets. Thank you so much, Josh, for coming by. Thanks so much, girls, for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Paul. Josh. Thanks for you oh, Thank you know you. what? Real fast, where can people find you online if oh, they want to? Oh, yes, find us on uh, social media uh, hashtag Texas Beer Bus, uh, Instagram, Facebook, our website. I'm literally at every event. So if you see an event in San Antonio, I'm there. Come out and speak to me, learn more information about what we do. Your website is texasbeerbus.com? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Texasbeerbus.com. Perfect. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, Josh. Awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. And we will make sure to, if you look at our show notes, uh, make sure to look there because we will make sure to tag uh, Texas Beer Bus. Yes. I said, I think I just said make sure like four times. Did you? (laughs) Yeah. Because you just just really want to emphasize. I'm just saying make sure. I know. To do what it is. I know. I'm really worried about the follow through, you guys. Well, don't let me down. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. That's our next T-shirt. Make sure. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? What doesn't it not mean? Mm. That's That's what I say. That's deep, you guys. With arms wide open. Open. (laughs) Arms wide open. That's Creed, though. (laughs) Is it? I don't know who sings that song. Speaking of making sure. Yes. Yes. Um, Why are you people looking at me want, when you said that? Because if people want to make sure to find out where they can find you, Jay Lafar, and where you're performing, where can they make sure to go to to make sure they see you in a make sure... Oh, uh, yeah. Jay Lafar uh, on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Friendster. MySpace? You're on MySpace? I think so. I still have it. Oh, my know. God. The, do do they they still, have like you an, still have one. You know, if you had one, it's not gone. No, I probably do still have it. Yeah, I you just, just you have to figure out what your password was because mine's yeah. changed in like seven yeah. years. Oh, Did you customize yours? That. Remember when you could, uh, you you could make you it flashy? You guys have been in my top 40 friends. You could make it flashy and put music yes. on it. Yes. I did. I, I had, remember I had comedy bits. Uh, I'll be at the Laugh Out Loud this week, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, with, with Mary Ellen Hooper. Uh, the, the following week, I'm at the River Center Comedy Club uh, with uh, Ada Rodriguez. Then the week after that, I'll be at Trips uh, Ch- uh, Comedy Club, whatever the name of it is now, up in Canyon Lake. Nice. The week yes. after that, I'll be in New York, at, uh, in Albany, New York, at Damn, the Gina. Comedy uh, Works. Week after that, I'll be at SUNY Cortland mm-hmm. at a couple of private gigs. And then also, I'm doing. Uh, uh, the Red Jug Inn there, and then I will be the in Nashville. The Red Jug Inn? Yes. Is that at Strip Club? No, it is a, uh, the Red Jug, they do a, uh, they do it's the It's a Cortica really racist jug. Native American strip club. Oh, okay. It, it yeah. is. Uh, then I'm in uh, Nashville, and then I come back to San Antonio, and then nice. I go somewhere else. You know how you can nice. tell that you're in a Jay LaFarre show? Because you hear people like this. <gasps> <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> I get a lot of that. Did you just I say that? that? <gasps> what did he I had to work say? super, super clean. Uh, out at the joke joint in Houston and uh, the, the guy said can you work clean I saw your video clips yeah. I said well yeah I do church shows he's like really I was like yeah it's like, I'll go wherever the money is I'm a whore right, yeah. Yeah. and uh, so uh, but then uh, I, had, uh, I had basically it's the same act I just don't say fuck yeah, yeah, yeah so, of course, of course. But uh, and it's surprising that it went over very well with those yokels. Did it? Nice, yeah. interesting. Yeah, they like me. That's yokels, good. good old yokels. Good. Also, uh, what, what, you should get on stage sometime soon, Brandy. You know what? Okay, I so think she should too. No, let's talk about this, okay? Okay. Um, so, when I first started doing stand-up comedy, I did it. My first time I to do an open mic was in the spring. So then it was like, oh, that went well. Then at the beginning of the summer, the end of spring, I started going to stuff. I kind of put two and two together. Like, we ship our kids away for the summer. We ship them away. They're at, they're at so summer So you could camps. devote the summer to it. Yes, and I didn't realize that's what happened. So I could, like, go to Tuesday night yeah, open mics. Yeah. I could go, and I could sleep in in the morning before right, I got right. started working for the next day. And then the school year started, and I had this, like, mental crisis. I, yeah. was, I was thinking, like, oh, I can't fucking be a stand-up comedian. I can't do this because I don't have this time to commit to it. How did I do it then? Oh, I've gone down the road. Like, oh, it's because my kids are in school, and I have to yeah. be a fucking Well, it's mother. almost summertime. You know what, yeah. though? That there's, if it's something you really enjoy doing. See, but I don't, I don't have that. Exact, what you're talking about right there. You're talking about the drive to be a stand-up comedian 
I don't No, I'm have not even that. saying that. I'm saying if it's something you enjoy, yeah. do it part-time and yeah. do it for what it is. Like me, uh, comedy is my entire life. It's right. What, it's basically, I base every decision I make yes. on that. Right. But that's because that's all. it's only me and my yeah. cat, so I don't really have anything else. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, you're lonely. But, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I... I where, else, where else do you have to go, Jay? Yeah. Uh, nowhere. Right. Here. I'm Here. living Here. vicariously Here. through her boyfriend. Right. Perfect. That's what's yeah. happening right now. <laughs> So he's he's gone. Made, you could make some side of her some okay. <coughs> but, macaroni uh, and cheese omelet. Yeah. But when you do um, when you do comedy or any of this shit, it's some people do it very very part time and they love it, but they just love doing it. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, you were you were actually very funny I when think I saw you. you. Listen, and I've told this story probably a bunch of times, but uh, I really wanted to do stand up. I still have not done it. You should. But uh, I saw Brandy do it and I've said this more than once and this is Anyone and I am not it. trying no 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 that's not <laughs> and no she that can is do not it. at all no <laughs> I this is a horrible thing to say no. but normally when I see women comics I don't personally relate to them for yeah, some yeah. reason and I don't find them to be funny but you haven't all the seen time. that many though I yeah. haven't seen that many to be, yeah. and to be honest I only know mainstream female comics and then like a couple you know here or there I saw Brandy and I thought she was fucking hilarious. Uh, like, I really honestly thought, like, if I'm going to do comedy, I want to be funny like her because uh, I connected with what she was saying. And I, and she has a, a similar brand of humor that I have. Why do have a comedy duo where you write We've mom? Talked about We've talked about it. You yeah. should. And by the way, it's a no-brainer. Two attractive women, both funny and both who like beer. I mean, this is our, that's a TBS show right there. Well, I'm Drink planning on, on getting really ugly, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm on my way. Sure. I'm oh, yeah. on my well, way. You can't keep this much longer. No. But yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's, like, mm-hmm. it's almost yeah. like... It's, it's all like, downhill it's from okay. here. It's okay. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Women, right? There's uh, Garfunkel and Oates, uh, or a comedy... Uh, female comedy duo. I don't know if you've seen their yes. show. Mm-hmm. They're brilliant. They're very funny. They do and, songs and yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, though, if there was just like a, a, a comedy duo where two women, they, they played off each other and it's like they're friends, but they uh, that would be a great show and people would watch yeah. that. Yeah. It's kind of... And, and, and also because it's relatable, and you said something, it's relatable. Right. Yes. Yeah. Because you're not the you're not the hoity-toity girls at the wine bar who are right. snobs. Yeah. You're yeah. like, oh, fuck. And we're know. not the... This is, like, what bothers me, and I love Maria Bamford because she makes fun of, like, the typical female comic, just like, am I right, ladies? Am I right? right I right, mean, right. that... So sometimes you can get women that yeah. get up there and they'll just use the, the female persona. Right. But this is the problem, is that I think a lot of times it's the people that are booking comedians. Are you fucking shitting me? Bookers want female comics so bad but they're right now. Bo- a bunch of them are booking the wrong fucking female comics. Well, you know why? Because they're driven. They're, the they're ones scared. They're also scared you know of women comics? opening their Do you know how many shitty male comics are making money because they make the phone calls? That's all it is. It's being persistent. Yeah. If you're persistent, you'll get work. But let's let's get this even broken further down. So it's a lot easier if I was a guy and I'm a dad and I'm a husband and I decide I'm going to start comedy. Right. It's so much easier. I'm not talking about like my home life because I have a supportive husband, but yeah. like it's so much yeah. easier to say like, hey, honey, I'm going to work on this hobby right. that takes me away and from you the house. And you take care of this. You take care of this. And so I think it's less yeah. judgmental towards men than way, it is towards right. women. Way less. And it's not just that. It's the inner guilt. Men don't have right. as much of the inner Most guilt as women assholes, do. Most of those are assholes, yeah. Yeah, you're all fucking assholes. Yeah. But Sorry. that's also because we didn't have something come. Yeah. We didn't have Paul something come out of Paul changed a fucking body. diaper, and he's over here yeah. bragging. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like oh, a king of the world now. Read me. I'm metrosexual. I changed a diaper, queer. It was amazing. It was like... You know, yeah. life changing. That. Like, I didn't realize that kids needed cha- diapers changed, and then I did it. And, and I was now like, he oh, watches look. scat Now videos, he's fucking so. clean, and it's because yes. of me. Yes. I saved his life. You but, saved his But he honestly, dirty um, yeah. there is a hunger for funny women out there, and I think yeah. that, and I think all different levels, too, because as much as there's people love Carrot Top, and there's uh, most people, do, like my yeah. friends don't. Like, my friends wouldn't want to go to a Carrot Top show, yeah. which would be sad move, because Carrot Top's brilliant. Brilliant, by the way. Yeah. If you've ever seen his act, it's a hundred jokes in like thirty minutes, right? And it's nonstop. And the way he's done it is, it's it's really good. It's not he's what I like. Though. He's catering to his audience. Though. He makes yeah. eighteen million a year. Yeah. I, I really, I really think <laughs> it's just like bookers sometimes will think like this is a woman she talks about women shit like this needs to be a show for women mm-hmm. and we'll have it as a women showcase yeah. and we'll try to get women in here but I it's just think, like is she just you know funny what? listen because 
you and I, we started this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And we had no agenda. No. Other than we're going to do this thing. It's going to be fun. We're going to yeah. do it once a month. Yeah. Right? And uh-huh. then it got a little popular. Yeah. And we, we and we noticed over time that it is not our primary fan base is not women. But everybody thinks it is. Everybody thinks it is. And when they are eighty want percent to do things, male. Yes, we have and then like twenty percent women. But yeah. when when people approach us to do things, they want to do women's events with us. Yeah. Because they think that that's who our fan base yeah. is and it's not. Well, yeah. why but then I think still you'd be crazy not to want to do women's events because No, we, no, do, we don't because yeah. we, we love it. Do women's we events, love hanging out I'm, with chicks, but yeah. like but it's funny too, if you had a podcast and you're like, Oh, he's crafty they're like, Oh, so is this is this about male issues? About, just about guys. Yeah. This is about just guys, about guys who like to yeah. drink beer. Yeah. yeah. But it, because it, she's crafty, we're just bitches that like beer. Right. Like we're speaking to men and women. Right. But a lot of times people think like, oh, so I've got a I've got a new beer that I want to promote that women would like. Right. And I'm like, well, our audience is 80% male, so hopefully yeah. guys like, like it too. It too yeah. well, but so. you also can pitch the idea that, well, men are going to buy this beer for the women. Now, and, I mean, you know what I mean? Well, it's yeah. like, there's different ways. of Nobody's th- buying my fucking beer. Uh, yeah, we try not to think that way. I, well, no, we, you don't, but we just did a beer like that. Nah. We just did the Texas Strawberry Blonde, and a lot of people yes. would think that it would it would appeal to how, women. How was that, by the way? Pretty good? Delicious. Really Del- good. I, I finally got strawberry. I made a strawberry mm. beer years ago, and it was fucking unbelievable. Yummy. And it aged well, too. And that's the one thing about fruit beers. A lot of them will age well. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, especially the cherry ones. Like, uh, the cherry ones. But any, I think it, maybe it's the, the more acidic the fruit or something, and it helps it age better. But I'm, I I'm not the brewer. Uh, I know how to brew, but our yeah. head brewer is, is the mastermind. Uh, of course, and is Brian. Is he the brewmaster? He is the brewmaster. Yeah. I want, yeah that's the title you're, I want. You're, you're, you're going to be master. podmaster. I'm so freaked out right now because I just looked over and I was doing this stupid shit I'm with my hair. Thing, yeah. We were doing the same same thing. Yeah. Oh, we were doing it together. Yeah. What did we do the other day? We did something that we were doing exactly the same thing. We're and I finished can't somebody's what it was. sentence or yes, something. it was this making out with each other. No. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> that's we do it exactly the same. That's yeah. Exactly. It was Which means we're, we're just facing the same way and we're kissing the air because yeah. we're just mimicking each other. All right. Yeah. So, Paul, <laughs> if people want to um, find you and find No Label, where can they find you? People... people think people would want to find me no really no, I'm, I'm it's like it's like you know have you ever seen where they say oh free concert tickets just find them in the parking lot that's what we're gonna do with you yeah we're gonna be oh, like we're gonna put the brew ticket <laughs> the brew tour tickets in paul's pocket <laughs> and then they can pick up the ticket they and they can give him a baby paul in san antonio <laughs> where's paul Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's the new Where's Cleto, if but it's Where's Paul. <laughs> okay. If I, if this I is not. Back. We have not. Okay. We haven't. We haven't cemented this at all. Okay. But stay tuned to our Facebook page and our oh, yeah. Instagram account. We and find maybe out where some no label be, events are. Maybe this could be how you get your tickets. Is you have to track down Paul. Maybe. And if you're a lady and you're ready to get pregnant, win 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 win. We're win. back to this. <laughs> I would like to impregnate some. Listen, you why can't, can't I get some wiener loving on if your... If you... Huh? Ladies, ladies. Well, wait, wait, wait. Ladies, talked, okay, ladies. Yeah, okay. If you would like a funny guy, mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. you love cats, because mm-hmm. I'm assuming that if you're some girl in your late 30s or 40s, <laughs> you probably love the shit out of some cats, <laughs> and you're single. Jay is your guy, okay? If you want a guy that can cook the shit out of some vegan meals, this is your guy. Jay maybe is I'm your a, dude. Maybe I'm a middle-aged lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, you're hitting the also, wrong market. Also, Jay, I wanted to say real quick, if people want to help you feed the homeless, oh, where can they yes. drop things off? Oh, okay. Yeah, I feed homeless people to make up for the past ills of my life. <laughs> um, I, You have no idea what a decrepit youth I had. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I drop stuff off Mondays and Tuesdays at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. Uh, chips, bottles of water, um, also uh, any snacky stuff. And, uh, yeah. Fruit. Fruit, yeah, fruit's always good. Paper bags, maybe? Paper like bags. Sacks, yeah, anything sacks. for lunch is right now. and Or just uh, HEB car, gift cards people drop off for five or ten. That's what we don't want. We want anything 10. too fancy because you don't want to spoil them. No, I, I give them vegan lunches, too. Right. That's how much of a douchebag I am. Or just money. You can also give some money. and Or give some money and yeah. Jay can go out and get what he needs. Buy some supplies. Right. And, oh, also, your, your uh, listeners... Uh, they have a chance if they uh, if they get five friends to listen to the She's Crafty podcast, they'll be they can win two free tickets to the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. All nice. right, where can I, they? Uh, they'll get them from you guys. Okay. I'll meet up with Catherine. I'll give you guys or Perfect. you or and I'll beat you up. I will beat you up if you keep looking at me like that. Okay. And, uh, 
I will. Uh, I'll get you five pairs of tickets so you can awesome. get them. Awesome, love that. So we will share and yes. yeah. Actually, I have them in my car. So before I leave, nice. I'll give them to you. Yeah. Love Perfect. it. Love you it. You can win everything on this podcast. Oh. You, you really can. We're since we're all giving away something free. Okay. I've got tickets to our Saturday tours nice. at the brewery, yes. which is the number one thing to do in Katy. We all right. Beat Shout out yeah. Katy Mills Mall. Shout out. Nice. Shout out. Yeah, you, go, you come to the brewery from 12 to 3 on Saturdays. Awesome. Uh, we normally have about 500 to 800 people. It's a it's a big, nice event. You can bring your kids. We're kid-friendly. We're dog-friendly. Perfect. Get Sounds out and like come a Trump rally. So I'll, Sounds like I will a Trump rally. T- well, really? it is Katy, Texas. Okay. Just way less uh, punching racism and, more beer. and hate yelling. Can yeah. I say yeah, this more beer. tastes better? It tasted delicious the first time. It tastes better, even. The perpetual peace. It's warmer. Yeah. It's warmer. Yeah. This is what it is. Definitely. Do you want to take a sip, Jay, of the warmer? Yes. There we go. Oh, my Jesus. It's yeah. not perpetual peace. I will give you tickets. Nice. But, so back to if, if you want to find me. If you really want to find me, you can uh, follow me at uh, on Twitter. I'm at No Label Vega. Okay. Um, I have a Facebook. I have a Facebook page, and the page is... SATX slash ATX no label because oh, I, I do San Antonio oh, and Austin. You do San Antonio and Austin, okay. And then I just Paul Vega okay. in, on Facebook. Uh, if you want to follow the brewery, you can uh, you can look up a lot of what we do at nolabelbrew.com or at nolabelbrew on Twitter. Nice. And they can also get to off label from the no label website. From the no label website. Mm-hmm. Um, Keep, just keep an eye out for off label as well. Okay. Um, they're they're you're able to age these beers, so you know you're gonna pick them up and you can enjoy one, and you pick up another, and you see how it lasts over over time, six months, a year. I mean, you don't have to. I like to drink my beer when I get it. Right. Yeah. I think these people are crazy who want to sit on yeah. beer, but yeah, I don't yeah. have a cellar because it I, doesn't make that. I don't long. even yeah. see like uh-huh. I'm. A, I don't think I could do it. Yeah. Like I have a hard time saving money. Yeah. I don't think I'd be very good at saving uh-uh. beer. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. If I just spent like. Nine, twelve bucks on a bottle. I'm probably drinking it drink that it. night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Awesome. Well, cool. I feel like this turned into like our biggest giveaway episode ever. Ever. We're like our the group on a podcast. Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's fantastic. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're oh, you're in a say, safe place. You're in a safe place. Okay, I was gonna say if you'd like uh, for your podcast, we'll, I'll get you two pairs of tickets to the comedy clubs for each podcast giveaway. For each podcast, that would be that'd fantastic. be amazing. Yeah, well, in Motor Mirth, defensive driving will give them. I love. So. Oh, nice. shout out Motor Mirth. Oh, do you yeah. want to plug that real fast? Yeah, if you have a ticket and you drive drunk, come to Motor Mirth, defensive driving, where there's it's a no judgment zone. And you don't hmm. have to sit through a boring ass. No, uh, it's comedy. Yeah, right? yeah we talk. Comedy it's a, taught driving. by comedians, and I rarely even touch upon the subject matter. I usually talk about my relationship with my mother and why things nice. aren't going well in my life. Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you? That's did like, you learn from the Cosby incident? Do you not? You do rarely touch uh, the people in your class, too. Or do you? Or just, um, you know what? I did actually once. A girl <laughs> slept. Well, a girl fell asleep in in my class. She was sitting next to her mother, and her mother. I told her because oh, her prime daughter time. Kept, she kept she kept falling asleep. So I watched, and I nudged her chair with my foot like I was like oh yeah. I wake up and so and like wake up yeah. your mother said you don't have to kick her chair and I was oh. like well you should not let your daughter fall asleep in class oh. they were in the class yeah. together. Bitchy. Yeah, they took they, her, the mom was taking it for insurance. The daughter was taking it for a like ticket. Mother, like mother, like daughter, and they were from Alabama. Drivers, and they were twat, <laughs> so I, females but, and Asians. Is it is it mostly mm-hmm. females in your classes? Just out of curiosity, it, we wanted no, to perpetuate um, this too. It's actually uh, it's about half and half. Is it okay? Uh, good. But there's uh, if it's black people, they're usually late to class every oh my time. God. Uh, just so you know, and if it's old people, there's they're super super early. <laughs> just. We have no control over anything that's said by guests. <laughs> no, it's always, if there's someone late to class, it's always a black person. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. clockwork. And I don't know if they plan that to punk me. Does so Bobby still teach? Bobby, probably. Is he is he on time? Bobby, to teach? Not. He's never been on time for a show. <laughs> How's he going to teach a class? But, but, He's uh, like, the old people are really late, and it's like 10 a.m., and they've already eaten dinner. I have, yeah. I have anxiety about being late to things. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, like I get, I get like small I get, yeah. I'm there panic attack. F- I'm five minutes before I have to be there. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew I was coming here. I didn't know where it was, so I did. I came by here yesterday to make sure how far away it was yeah. and all that. From it's very, it's pretty close to you, though, right? It's super close. It's yeah. like I go down the worst block and I'm here. I actually saw you one day jogging or something Probably. down the street, and I was gonna 
like uh, Stop scream and at help you. Me. I was gonna scream at you, but I was in the other lane and it just didn't happen. But I saw you and I was like, oh fuck, that's Jay Lafar <laughs> taking a little joggy <laughs> jog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, down bitters. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm all about uh, extending a life that I'm barely interested. True that. In. True that. No, yes. I hear you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, shout out Beer Nuts, because I know all of you are depressed about your life. Shout That's why you're listening to this podcast. <laughs> to the She's Crafty podcast. Speaking uh, of. Speaking of. Guess what? You can go on iTunes <gasps> and really? subscribe, Ooh. rate, and review the She's Crafty podcast. Let us know how we're doing. Give us five stars and leave us a little review to up our ranking in iTunes and more people will listen to us. Shout out. It would be super awesome. Also, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at She's Crafty Pod. Find us on Facebook at She's Crafty Podcast. Find us on Google+. Plus. We're not going to talk about it anymore. Just it's do okay. it. Just go and do it's it. It's fine. Just right? do it. Just, just do it. Just keep talking it. about you it. I love that you plug Google Plus every time. <laughs> that is determination. <laughs> yes. And I just want for more than three people to be in our Google Plus circle. That's all I want. I you feel have like we have to Plus? be sponsored by Google Plus. At some point. <laughs> We do have a Google Plus. No one uses Google Plus. You know Plus. why we have a Google Plus? It because ups your if rankings. you use Google Plus, it puts you in the Google search engine. Yeah. So every you time you hashtag She's Crafty Podcast on right Google Plus, top. it puts you right at the top. Yep. So we use it. Are you, are you telling me? I'm telling you. I hashtag that. She's Crafty Podcast, mm-hmm. that I will come up higher in a Google Plus. No, we Plus. will. No. Oh. Yeah, we will. We will. But so if you, I do hashtag <laughs> Jay Lafar, she's crafty podcast it. hashtag Nazi America. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's fine. That's listen. That's one of our normal Randy and I at the very yeah. beginning of this just said we have no standards and we will sell out at any moment. I would too. So anything like, that's gonna up us and we'll do I anything. Made my, I made. I, I was telling her early. I was did, did shows up in Oklahoma with. I brought Chris Payne up there. And the guy thought Chris was, like, my boy Has, toy. Oh, I thought you said Hakimo. Yeah, so he ends up, he's like, so now he wants to You guys to are the, would be the worst gay couple ever. Oh, we would, because I, because I, I, I would just be all, like, you, fucking shit. Because you really like to snuggle, and yeah. he doesn't. Yeah. I'm a cuddler, and he's a more standoffish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He could just, like, jump on your back. He has a real hard time you. expressing So they want me and John Stringer to do all these bear events, which oh, is, yeah. it's, uh, and we're going to be the bear and cub and they're going to have us do all this stuff. And I was like, I don't, but I don't want to tell them. That sounds that, a little pedophilia, like bear yeah. and cub. Oh. Oh. It's going to, but I'll do it because it's the really stupid money to do this. Sell out, you guys. That's the theme That's, of this podcast is sell at out. At the end of the day. So if you want to, um, if you want to name this podcast, I'm going to say it's either Catherine's trying to be a whore. Yep. I go with that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jay is a vegan, lonely cat lover. Right. Or pretending Paul to be wants gay. to have a baby. Paul wants a baby. Paul wants to, impreg- wants to impregnate somebody. Yeah. Paul wants to impregnate a baby. Yeah. Paul, <laughs> oh, God. Paul wants Hashtag to impregnate a baby. Paul wants to impregnate a baby. And that's how rumors start. <laughs> that's how. Uh, no label brewing. Where they only hire people that want to impregnate babies. No, they Thank you for it. listening to the She's so Crafty horrible. podcast. Go to our website, buy our merch. Peace out, beer Peace nuts. Out, beer nuts. Shut up and sit down.